Hey, and welcome to another Geek Out Commentary. I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. And we're back to the classic trilogy after that little prequel interlude. Again, this is Machete Order. So after exploring, you know, after that big Darth Vader revelation, we went back to, to kind of see his past and his descent into Sithdom. And now we're back to close out his story with Return of the Jedi. Um, I think I've said this on the show before. I'm pretty sure I've said it on the commentaries before. Um, this is this is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, Chris is too. Yup. Um, I think it just because I was at the perfect age when I saw it. Ewoks, which I feel like is the biggest point of contention for anyone that kind of like poo poos on this. I was just at the perfect age for Ewoks. Never had a problem with them. Yeah. I was just like, okay, fine. They're just another alien race that that shits all over the Empire. Empire can't shoot, so... <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, uh, another big thing uh, that really gets me, uh, beyond, like, stuff in the story, but, like, the, uh, there's just, just, just this great nostalgia thing about this movie because it's the first one that I ever remember owning uh, on home media because my, my dad had a Betamax player, and this was, like, one of the only Betamax tapes that I, like, still have. And so, like, I look at it, and I think the... The, the cover art for it is beautiful and I, I just fucking love it and then like beyond that like I think personally uh, the the lightsaber fight between uh, Luke and Darth at the end is so much more emotional because they're going into it both of them knowing full well that their father and son it's great fighting to to win over the other ones essentially win over each, uh, each other's soul you know in this climactic battle that the entire series now has been leading up to uh and it's just such a huge emotional hit for me beyond just finding out that darth vader is luke's father but like actually trying to redeem him yeah i you know, redemption plays very heavily into this for a big draw for me um for if you don't put the prequels into it if you just take the classic trilogy as it is Star Wars is basically a coming of like the tri- original trilogy is a coming of age story for Luke Skywalker, and it's, it's at this point that Luke Skywalker finally you know grows up. He's finally a man, you know. He's in charge. He's the master of his own destiny, and uh, I just love uh, you know the green lightsaber, the black mm-hmm. outfit he's wearing. He's just really cool. Yeah, you know, I some people always like shit on Luke Skywalker. I'm not saying he doesn't come off as whinies in the earlier films, but not nearly as bad as Anakin. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Now that we've had that hey, comparison, yeah, shattered glass. Fuck you. <laughs> um, uh, maybe I'll get it out one last time. Yeah, maybe I'll pick, make that my birthday pick. So the entire commentary, I just scream "fuck you" into the mics. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> real quick, not to sidetrack, Jake and I were just talking the other night that like it, it's a shame that you like might not ever see Shattered Glass now just because of like contempt. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the, yeah. The unfortunate like thing is, catcher. You know? Yeah. Well, Fox Catcher like pretty much sucked. But like the the the, the sad <laughs> thing is. That Shadow Glass is like a legitimately a good movie, but the problem is because of like the fun we're having with it, you like even if you wanted to, you could never watch that movie and enjoy it. Like, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've, I've sullied. Or, yeah, you've you've sullied your. Uh, which sorry. I'm sure you'll sleep just fine, but like, yeah, oh yeah, but, uh, but I preemptively struck. Yeah. yeah, you yeah you could never legitimately enjoy that movie. Yeah, which but, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Josh, you got anything to say about uh about Jedi? It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's, <laughs> it's possible. It's my second favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah. Um. It was my brother's favorite, so when we were younger, he'd always usually win out somehow, and we watched this one, which was fine. I my two big things, like I, going with Chris was saying, like I love the lightsaber battle in this one. The only thing that bums me out, and the the other fights going on are awesome, but I just wanted I just wanted the you know every time it would cut to the, another battle scene, I'm like no, I just want to see what's happening with the lightsaber battle. I don't mm-hmm. care about the fucking battle of Moon fucking Endor. That's, that's actually kind of how I stuff. feel in like episode one with Duel of Fates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, they, they do I, that I wish a lot. it would just stay on yeah. Darth Maul. There is one thing actually that really irks me about Jedi, oh. and it's how Boba goes out. Oh yeah, because mm. he's a little bitch. Prime candidate or prime argument why Boba Fett isn't as cool as everybody makes him out to be. Yeah, but we'll see that in a second. Yeah, we'll talk about that when it yeah. gets there. Without much further ado, Chris, start us off. All right. So again, just like with the other uh, two original uh, trilogy movies, we are watching the initial special edition DVD release. I'm sorry, especially for this one, because this one, out of, out of all three of them, this one, to me, is the most egregious of the edits, but it is the most ubiquitous, so we figured it would be the safest to go with. So, we have it queued up, ready to go. Uh, the counter's at all zeros, so uh, get that set up, 
and then I'll uh, let you know when to hit play in five, four, three, two, one, play. Yeah, somehow a song and dance number added into the narrative is a bigger slap in the face than fucking, like, bad CGI Jabba the Hutt. I think I might have just had the the the, the, the uh, movie playing into the headphones or playing into the recording just now. So, sorry, Fox. Get over it. That's not gonna like fuck us over, is it? No, no. I don't think it was enough of it to 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 have a problem. And we're celebrating that it's the last time any of us will ever hear the uh, the 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 fanfare. And that way everyone knows that they're totally in sync. So it's actually a really good thing to do. I'll um, be sure, just in case, yeah, the Fox Lawyers comes like, hey, it's cool. Now you know we're in sync. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't prepare before you hit record. <laughs> so what was the original version of this film titled and why was it changed? So uh, the original, the good good thing to bring up during the uh, the, the t- uh, scrolling text, actually, thank you, Josh. Uh, originally, this movie was called Revenge of the Jedi, and it stayed, Ooh. yeah, it stayed Revenge of the Jedi all the way up until post production, actually, because there's even posters uh, of the first uh, trailer. Yeah, the first trailer uh, say Revenge of the Jedi, and uh, and it's it's a really cool sounding title. But George Lucas, like at hour eleven, was like, well, wait. They're not really revenging, you know, uh, and the Jedi aren't, you know, like uh, a, a vengeful, you know, race. I, I, the specific word escapes me right now, but like they're they're peaceful, you know. They they wouldn't seek out vengeance, and right now, arguably, uh, Yoda, who spoilers, dies in this movie, uh, and Luke are the only living Jedi that we know of, and through. You know the 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 turning of Anakin by the end of the movie, and presumably what J- uh, Luke goes on to do uh, post the movie, it is kind of a return of the Jedi, you know, religious practitioners, if you will. Hmm. So, uh, so it kind of fits better. Yeah, I liked Revenge more. It it does sound cool, and that's why that's why episode three he went with Revenge of the Sith because it's much more of a Sith thing to do, and they were kind of lying in wait, hmm. you know, instead of like a nearly extinct race or uh, whatever order. Yeah, and I th- it was also kind of an intentional nod to the original title for this. Yeah, I gotta say something that I never liked about the uh, prequels. So at the end of you know Revenge of the Sith, as you know, we see the production begin on the first Death Star. So did they just like start this construction on this bad boy around the same time, <laughs> like a little later? Well, uh, as um, as presumably you would have read in the text crawl at the beginning of this movie, it did uh, it did uh, uh, allude to they had just uh, they they had begun working on this Death Star post the destruction of that Death Star, which implies that over the last thirty years they've half, become. Yeah much more efficient at building Death yeah. Stars because it took uh, about 30 years to finish the first Death 20, Star because, yeah. because it had just finished production uh, in A New Hope. Uh, whereas this one is like, what, 75, maybe 90%? No, probably more like 75. I mean, it's, it's fully operational. Yeah, but yeah, the weapon <laughs> system is fully operational. But like, in general, construction yeah, it's ha- still is, is probably... You know, around seventy five percent done yeah. after only six years, uh, three and a half. Because there's a six month gap between in universe between Empire and Jedi. Is this only three years after the Battle of Yavin? Uh, three and a half. Yeah, because it's uh, there's a three year gap between Star For Wars and Empire, and per- there's a six year six month gap between between um Empire and Return. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is like when you work at a restaurant, you find out that the uh, 
is it the FDA or whatever, or the uh, the, the food inspector. ins- inspector is coming. And you're like, shit, we got to shine, shine everything. We got to glyce all everything. <laughs> you're working at like a venue and you fire, find out the fire marshal's coming. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, fuck. Or when you worked at Blockbuster, you had your secret shopper coming. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. That was the, that's when they, that's when the yeah, real yeah, shit was I, going on. I, I would always prefer being told a supervisor or someone like that's coming instead of just working like your second day. And, oh, the regional managers for the entire northeastern division's coming in. That's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just as the tr- original trilogy began with two robots walking through the desert, the trilogy ends with two robots walking through the desert. Well, I guess we... The it beginning ends on of a, the end. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, it ends on a fucking forest planet. Never mind, or moon. Yeah. There is a cool deleted scene available online and on the Blu-ray release, where before this you see Luke constructing his lightsaber in a cave in Tatooine and recording the message for R2. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And it is uh, live and well in the radio show that I talk about all the time during these commentaries. With Mark Hamill. Yeah. Now, is 3PO finally full gold in this one, or has he still got that one silver leg? No, he's full gold. Okay. But they never touch on his Why? transition from moving from the silver leg to going full no. gold. Maybe just like parts. They finally had time to get him a gold leg. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Back in the 70s and 80s, man, no one cared. They just let <laughs> robots be robots. <laughs> that always reminded me of uh, the optical, whatever you want to call it, for um, the ship on Flight of the Navigator. Which is a great movie, and you all should watch it. The ship is voiced by Pee Wee. I take your word for it. The uh, first Star Wars video game I ever owned, Super Star Wars Return, uh, Super Return of the Jedi for the uh, Game Boy. I had the New Hope on Game Gear. It was uh, insanely difficult. All the Super Super Star Wars games were just painful and unforgiving. I think the first one I had was Dark Forces. Okay. I've never owned a Star Wars video game. Oh, this guy. Bib Fortuna? Yeah. Every May the 4th, I send my brother a text and I go, Yo, what a longa. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my brother and I thought this guy was like the funniest dude. He's pretty cool. His pop figure looks like way like cuter and nicer. <laughs> like not like a demon dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I almost I think I might have to just buy it for my brother and just actually send it to him with the note that says Yo Wada Wanga. Yeah, this dude looks like he could be like in Hellraiser or something. Yeah, seriously. Or a used car salesman. Yeah. That's his yeah. With Kurt Russell. His, that's his yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, Ma, bear tits. <laughs> Ooh, he's great. If that ain't a buddy cop film, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Someone's been reading my fan fiction. <laughs> I remember these warthog men were a pain in the ass in the Lego game. The Gamoran guards? Yeah. And The pop figure for them are oh, pretty cute. Jello. Yeah, how cool. Just to lounge around and smoke whatever the fuck that is and yeah. eat frog things. Some sort of Tatooinian hookah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about a pain salacious crumb. Oh, yeah. Just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that little thing has a name. So yeah, it's from everything it's Star has a name. Wars, man. Oh, I think he does <laughs> yeah. have the silver leg again. Not that it matters, does but he? yeah, I think he does. Oh god, damn it! It was. Uh, it took five people to puppet Jabba the Hutt. All of them like inside him. <laughs> yeah, the most crowded like suit thing ever. Uh, maybe he does. I don't know. I love the pupils. I'm now a priest. So he knighted himself? When you're the only one... <laughs> yeah, basically only the only got, one around. Yeah, him and Yoda are the only ones left. You can go ahead. I mean, his training, for all intents and purposes, is complete. According to Yoda, he only has one thing left to do. And I think he has a lot of... Or he's posturing for 
for Jabba because he mm. knows that Jabba's a gangster and he only responds to someone else, you know. Game respects game, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Well, they leave C-3PO out of it. Kind of like how they leave Alfred out in The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> <laughs> I should have saved him. I failed you. <laughs> Alfred, I decided to play this one pretty close to the chest. Yeah. Fuck you, Bruce. I'll play this close to the chest. Punches him in the mouth. To be fair, Bruce and Alfred weren't exactly on speaking terms at that point. Yeah. But he could have caused push-ups, he... and you can't lift a b- bloody stick. Yeah, whatever the hell the yeah, line bloody is. Bloody log. Yeah. That Jawa. I don't think I've ever seriously noticed that Jawa fanning Jabba the Hut. <laughs> like just so, even... just like my life is terrible. <laughs> I don't even think that Jawa noticed himself in that scene. And I love Jawas. Ugh. I want a salacious crumb. <laughs> we should have had guest salacious crumb on the on the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Just laughs at all of our oh funny God, I jokes. I, don't, I, I could do it, but I don't think I could do it for more than a minute before yeah. my voice is just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mm. That's a fan fiction I want written. <laughs> C-3PO hentai. Oh, God. Goodness gracious me. Oh, God, this, here we go. This is something that always boggled my mind because... Just program robots to feel pain. Yeah, why would you do that? In uh, the Force to Unleashed... To their inevitable uprising. <laughs> yeah, true. In the yeah, Force Unleashed, not, you can do that. Invincible. His His mouth yeah. puppeteering... Always, uh, always made me laugh too. Yeah, it's funny. You know what's weird is that they digitally added that guy next to, uh, uh, next to this uh, inquisitor, yeah. for lack of a better term, because I don't know his name. Uh, but he points directly in the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> The what a uh, stupid add-in for the special edition. The disintegrating droid um, was a repurposed uh, medical droid from Empire. Mm. Mm-hmm. And the uh, droid getting tortured is the, of course, the immortal gonk droid from Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> the trash can droid. <laughs> okay, this is where I check out, guys. Yeah, uh, you, like I was saying at the beginning, how is an added musical number somehow worse? <laughs> It's so dumb. <laughs> I just give me Lati Neck. Yeah. That's all I need. You know, the laser discs that I have not only have the Lati Neck, but it also has a fucking music video for Lati Neck, you which who, isn't just film footage. You know who my, uh, my favorite. Oh, no. Ugh. Uh, Ugh. One of, seriously, though, one of my favorite supporting characters in Star Wars is uh, Max Rebo. Yeah. Not this uh, CGI monstrosity. Or that leftover guy. with the. So, George Lucas was always like, I wanted a musical number in Return of the Jedi. I thought it'd be funny. Hey, George, none of what you think's funny is actually funny. Fuck you! And if it is funny, I want to be on whatever the hell you were on when you thought it was funny. (laughs) Fucking, 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 fucking this. And Ula. So this isn't uh, very well translated in the movie, but uh, upon reading or listening to the radio show and reading uh, Mara Jade's like introduction to the series, what's going on right here is that Ula, that, that Twi'lek that just fell down, uh, is naturally one of uh, Jabba's slave dancers. Uh, and she has this one very sexual dance that Jabba likes to force her to do. And she tries to refuse it as often as possible. And then, and this, that's, you know, he was like demanding, you know, he do the dance, do the dance, do the dance. And she's like, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. And he's like, fine, die. And drops her down into the pit with the rancor. And oddly enough, it's the same actress doing all the reshoots uh, in the scene as it was in the original filming. 
Because there was like a couple reshoot shoots that she had to do with the new band and stuff like that for the special edition. And then this is my favorite new character, quote unquote, <laughs> uh, of the movie, Bosch. Yeah, sounds like the blank from Dick Tracy. Yeah. Also, a masked character played by a woman. That's true. Who we already knew in the series. Enjoy it while it lasts, Boba. Mm-hmm. I also think this is like funniest C-3PO. Yeah. And not stupid funny like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> because this film is directed by Richard Marquand, mm. not George Lucas. Though, from what I understand, a lot of the Endor stuff was uh, was like uh, Lucas ghost directed. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> Why it was perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's a word. <laughs> that is a word. <laughs> there was this like, oh, he's so cool. And then under the armor, he's like a space Australian. And they're like, oh, get him out of here. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, look, 3PO's been slimed. Mm-hmm. It's got Save g- some for him. Yeah, some gack. Now it's a party. This bounty hunter is my kind of scum. Fearless and inventive. I wonder what the blast radius on one of those scenes is. Probably about at least the the dance hall that they're in. Probably not the whole palace. It's like in the first lethal weapon where um, Murtaugh's like, He's got a live grenade where he's going to like blow up his... He's like, if my daughter's going to die, she's going to die with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Basically, lethal weapon ripped off Return of the Jedi. I'm okay Completely. with that. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, Richard Donner sees this and he's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what, guys? In four years, I'm going to rip this off but do modern times. I'm going to make it a Christmas movie. This is my favorite. I, I like this song over the Cantina song. Mm-hmm. I like... It's just... I don't know. It's like fucking like. Yeah, thanks, Lucas, for not shitting on this song. Too. Yeah, I just uh, you sometimes just couldn't get clean audio of everyone talking. Yeah. Hey, without wait a song. second. Wait That's a second. not. I recognize that cool mama oh. jamma. Yeah. Where's his Colt forty five? <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> I know your pain, Chewy. That was me in New York. <laughs> That'd be funny if every time you hit your head, you made a Chewbacca noise. Like, just, you didn't even I, mean to. I kind of do. Do you? <laughs> I like this thing. Fuck you. <laughs> That's where Mad Max steps on his head <laughs> and then eats, rips his head off. And then we release our first metal album. Yeah. <laughs> That's a deep cut. That yeah. is. That's going back. So, does everybody just kind of sleep in the main room? Yeah. It's like, um, it's yeah. It's like an opium den. Yeah. I was trying to think it, of a movie and I was like, very much, yeah, very much. And that, yeah. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> it's like The Wire. The movie The Wire. Man on Wire? Man on Oh, The Walk, excuse me. <laughs> they all just sleep in a room. And Joe Score Levin has a freak out moment. And a weird French accent. Yeah. You'd think they'd have better security. They, they, they all trust each other. Yeah. They are laying a trap. The honor system. Yeah. Before Jabba tucks them all in. Now remember, nobody steal Han. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, it, it is a trap. So. Yeah. A lot of traps in this film. A lot of traps. The radio show, this scene is completely from C-3PO's point of view. Behind the curtain. Oh. Yeah. Watching, being basically narrating, oh, oh, the bounty hunter is going up to the, uh, Han Solo, you know, Rosen and Carbonite. Yeah, just they leave him out of everything. Yeah. I mean, for the best. Yeah. I mean, it comedic relief. But seriously, everyone listen to the radio show. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Now... You can find it on YouTube. When he was frozen, pre-frozen, he was not Indiana Jones. Now, unfrozen, he is Indiana Jones. <laughs> what does that say? Nothing. Also, his uh, ch- shirt was kind of different, and he had restraints on his arms. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah, he was handcuffed with his hands down by his crotch. Sam, you may not know this, but Carbonite does weird things to the body. Yeah. yeah. Carbonite works in mysterious ways. 
That too. Much like God. Do you have a carbonite? Is God? Do you need worship web... your God? Do you need web storage? <laughs> Get carbonite. <laughs> Samsonite. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Tracy. Would it have ever worked between us? You were right about me, Tracy. <laughs> you were right that's about me. That's such a weird moment. Like It's like, oh, that's because it's the same person. You know, so the last time we saw Harrison Ford, he wasn't uh, Indiana Jones yet. The last time we saw Carrie Fisher, she hadn't tried to kill uh, Jake Blues multiple times. Oh. <laughs> Who? I need to read up about that because I have never heard about it. She's, she's the... G- She's John Belushi's jilted lover in the Blues Brothers. Oh. She tries to kill him the entire movie. Okay. I need to see Blues Brothers. <laughs> Here I was no, yeah, I thinking do you were actually that. talking about a real life story. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know enough thinking. about the Blues Brothers to know that that was the character's name. Well, or enough right. deductive reasoning to know that you were talking about one film and another film. Right. Right. Yeah. That too. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. One of my favorites. Maybe that should be your birthday pick. I almost made it my birthday pick this last year, but I was like... Or I could watch it because well. your birthday is not going to be for another couple months. It's like 10. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be Josh's birthday first. If Josh wants to pick Blues Brothers. <laughs> you know what, Sam? Knowing, knowing Josh will pick Blues birthday, Brothers 2000. I'm going to pick your favorite movie. That's how birthdays work, right? Yeah. <laughs> I once bought a friend uh, a limited edition vinyl record for my birthday as a thank you for spending the day with me. That's what I sound like when I masturbate. And that's what I sound like when I masturbate. (laughs) (laughs) And that's what Josh does when he masturbates. Yes, I shake my walkie. (laughs) Got him. Harrison Ford famously wanted to Han Solo to get killed off early in the film to kind of, well, to get out of <laughs> to get out of being in the rest of it. Um, and what's his name? Uh, Lawrence Kasdan, the guy that co-wrote this, agreed. You know, he's like, if he dies in the beginning, it kind of leaves everybody's fate in doubt if everyone's going to have a happy ending. But George Lucas is like, one, merchandising. Two, merchandising. Two, <laughs> merchandising. And three, uh, it kind of casts a pallor on the entire film if they fail from the outset. Three, I always get my happy ending. <laughs> oh, so like the best part about watching these movies in machete order is that that's the first, you know, without that scene of him, of Luke uh, making his lightsaber, that's the first time you see him in Jedi and you're like, oh shit, has he gone evil too? Yeah, he yeah, can force choke? I, uh, so he was just force choking yeah. them. Yeah, and that's in the original theatrical version too. Like this isn't some special edition reshoot or anything. Since I know you guys haven't seen Jedi as so Yeah, force as choking well. isn't something that Jedi traditionally ever do, really. Well, it, but it's the old Republic. It's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's just a modified force push though. Like but he's he's doing it to restrain someone. It is it is a bit more violent than a uh, uh, Jedi would do. Like so yeah, you're like ooh. I can just the force persuade side. them yeah. away. Hence him wearing like all black, you yeah. know? <laughs> all black everything. I hope he wakes up, he's just like, huh? It's like waking up a cat. It's like looking <laughs> at Jordy. Uh that's how I'm waking up most nights. Oh <laughs> most nights? Yes. <laughs> and days. I never sleep. <laughs> so how are you woken up? Mm. So, uh, this movie is what taught me that I like the ladies. <laughs> if we can just take a minute to appreciate <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Eh. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah. Ooh, that is. Yeah. More so, uh, a mm. friend of mine in uh, Jake's name, TJ, always cited Nicole Kidman in Batman Forever, but nah, man. All about that Carrie Fisher in uh, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I will say... 
go back to our Batman Forever commentary and listen to Sam in that one scene. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. It's For the, obvious reasons. It's the, be, it's the best part of our Batman Forever commentary. You're like, ooh, this is... This is what? Sorry, I'm laughing so much I can't even remember what the quote was. I say, hey, you're about to... S- this is the moment where I knew that I liked uh, like girls, and it shows Val Kilmer, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> yes, this." <laughs> or, or I think it was even more vague. It was just like this was Sam Stone's sexual awakening, yeah. and it cuts to Val Kilmer right when you finish talking. <laughs> uh, I hope you giving had the your creepy Batman grin correctly. too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This has to be my favorite Star Wars creature. You could have just ended it. This is could be my favorite Star Wars. <laughs> but yeah, no, the Rancor nope, is nope. great. Nope, sorry, Chris. Never hear me say it. <laughs> uh, but uh, the Rancor, they had at Celebrate Star Wars, they had like a, a one-to-one scale replica of the Rancor, like bent down that you could take pictures with. Wasn't it the special one that makes a lot of appearances at other yeah. cons? Uh it's like named Sally or something like that. The sound effect of that thing getting like crunched. There, there's, <laughs> there it is. Mmm, mmm, mm, the bones, the bones. What about the sound effect? It's just I don't know. It's just kind of like uh, whoever did the, uh, you know, the uh, the sound design, the foley. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, they were geniuses on this. The whole yeah. series. Ben Bird, I think, right? Or I think, yeah. I think he was, he was part of it. Yeah. Since passed away, but yeah, he's like. The toppermost and yeah. the poppermost when it comes but yeah, to... But, uh, so, that Rancor was at Celebrate Star Wars, and I stood in line for like half an hour waiting to get a picture with it, with uh, my friend Sean and his wife Brienne, and we just got tired of waiting because like we realized, after like sitting there in an hour and being like, this line's not really moving, we realized because they weren't keeping track of the line itself, so people kept like coming in through the exit and like just... We were like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's a cool rancor, but we don't need the picture. And also, you're not, like not allowed to touch it or anything because it's delicate. You know, I'm not shitting on them for like it being delicate, but like it would have been so cool to like actually like get a picture, like you know, fucking with its hand or something like that. You know? Sorry, real quick, it is Ben Burt, and he's still alive. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, but yeah. He's he's so the in guy all those makes... previous original trilogy commentaries, we're like. Rest in peace, Ben Bird or Ben Bird, who's unfortunately no. Did I say that? Oh well. Yeah, like well, every time it comes up in the it's credits. fucked, but one day it'll be true. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those the, those commentaries you were just speaking preemptively. Yeah. Well, I always spoke well of him. Yeah, and we'll continue to do so. I mean, eventually we're all gonna yeah. die, so might might as well just. I could use the force, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Lefties rule. Rancor's drool. Oh <gasps> shit. The fuck? Boba Fett's like, oh no. This is actually legitimately oh. like one of the sadder moments in the. F- in, in, in this movie is all about sh- watching animal f- things die yeah, and watching someone mourn guy, over this it. This guy. I never thought that I would be like emotional over a fat, topless man, but <laughs> <laughs> seeing how like sad he gets. It's his baby. He's probably raised it from egg to brain. There's a little internet comic thing where you see it raised from birth as a pup to this moment. And then you want to see Luke die. Yeah. Well, let's not get carried away. Yeah. I mean, it's a fucking rancor. Yeah. I always did feel like, uh, while it is like a touching emotional moment, it kind of seemed out of place. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Ha <laughs> What's that next to 3PO that looks like it's going to lick him? Mm. I'll have to look at another take because I wasn't paying attention. That. Uh, that is a head dangling from the ceiling. Looks like it. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not certain. 
I, I love this movie, and I'm a nerd, but I'm not that it, big. It looks like it's moving. Yeah, it does kind of look like it's moving. Maybe it's trying to lick him. Huh. All the things they put in the special editions. I'll have to pop in my laser disc to see if that was... Ugh. Dance I mean, that's wolves. fine, but like... <laughs> <What ugh. the? laughs> dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Dumb. We really needed that scene. Right? It's just a transition. I don't really. Care. There's. Dumb, we've already dumb. gone through dumb. the one thing where I'm like, "Fuck this." Dumb, dumb. From here on out, I'm just like, "Okay." It, it's just. It's not like uh, like offensive, but it's no, just but it's still yeah. dumb. It's probably a little longer than it needs to be. Sure. As R2 got a Rebound? mini laser disc glued onto the top of his head. Everyone should have a mini laser disc glued, uh, also known as CDs. CDs, right? <laughs> Random hodgepodge of extras on the ship. With yeah. them. Just pose, hold sticks. By the okay. way, I love how the special edition didn't correct the green glow around. Yeah, this Chewbacca is one of the few things that looks super dated in Star Wars. Yeah, look at this. This it's scene terrible. is so egregious. Yeah, Lucas, maybe you should have spent less time adding a fucking song and dance number and more time improving the special effects in the existing footage. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> All more reasons why the special editions are awful. And no, that little di- uh, disc that He's you're missing thinking, it now. It, oh, okay. Well, then never mind. Because I was going to say, what looks like a little mini disc on his head is actually like the, the lid where his ar- little drink arm is popped out of. <sighs> well, apparently it's something he had and lost between two scenes in the special edition. Yep. Is that Tommy Lee Jones sitting next to Luke? <laughs> yes. Do you? Uh, that is his happy face. I don't. I, I don't there like. He is. The, yeah, I don't like the um, the beak addition to the. Yeah, neither do I. It makes I'm it less scary. The, I'm fine with the tentacles. Yeah, I'm fine with the mystery. Yeah. Well, We're again, the, the beak with, with, with the beak. You know, it's just yeah, emptiness, death, and de- disintegration. Yeah. What happens digestion. if you fall into the pit around the beak? Yeah. You're is just the, like, ow. Is the beak like a parasite that lit like a pilot fish within the? So many, so many unnecessary. Too many questions. Too, too many, many questions. questions. That's another thing from Batman. No Forever. beak, just pit. Mm. Or die. That sounds pretty revengey to me. I, I again know. posturing because he knows who he's dealing with. Fuck Please you. go. It's my first day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an extra, and I'm gonna. I gotta look shit good. Out of this I scene. gotta look good for the boss. It's Tommy Lee Jones is stoic as shit in the background. They look like this. The uh, prune face. Time. They prune. look like the Sona from uh, Star Trek Insurrection. It's not a good thing to be because I fuck Star Trek Insurrection. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's Jake's favorite Star Trek movie. That's true. You just slid with the wrong hand, Sight Luke. Unseen. Some Jedi Knight you are. Is that a bunny in the background? Without the I love that. Wait, everyone, just like pause, pause, hold. No oh, attack. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got Lando Calrissian doing his part. Yeah, hitting people with helmet. His helmet. <laughs> yeah, using C-3PO. the element of surprise to hit somebody with his helmet and then struggle with him. Yep, there there's it is. Your Wilhelm. Such a cool lightsaber. Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's when I was a kid, my favorite hilt. When I was mm-hmm. a kid, this was my favorite Luke Skywalker look. The all yeah. black. Oh sure, yeah. Still is. I saw... I remember, and, oh, that and the... Uh, I do like the yellow jacket at the end of uh, Star oh, Wars. Oh, yeah. And the award ceremony. Yeah. But uh, the Bespin Luke is... Le- Bespin Luke's... I mean, Although, I like when he, when he loses the rag that he's wearing, like the little vest thing he's wearing right now. Yeah. Now, that was an impressive trick. He fired the grappling hook up, <laughs> but still managed to wrap it around Luke completely. So again, <laughs> this is really all <laughs> Boba Fett does. Like, he... Okay, he helps capture Han in... Empire, but he's really just Vader's lackey. This is his big action sequence. He misses, then gets hit, has a stupid, like, but He gets hit by a blind guy not even trying. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, from what I've heard, Lucas had, and he burps him because he's dead. And, and, and um, the beak disappears for that burp. Yeah. The thing that I've always heard is, like, Lucas had seriously no idea that people thought Boba Fett was that cool. He was just like, I just thought he was a character, whatever, like... Again, he didn't put the, that in there to like necessary. He's like stupid. He's just like I had no idea that people thought he was like 
super awesome. The continuous stupidity of Lucas knows no so bounds. Wilhelm screams. Yeah. One cool thing. Bill so Hader's the, impression of uh, Jabba dying in uh, on Conan knocked up. Oh yeah, he's perfect. So <laughs> the um, word Sam. Sorry, you're I, one to talk, Josh. Yeah, yeah, I'm full of air, hot air, more than usual. The um, from a distance, Lando's wearing gloves or his stuntman, more accurately. On the close-ups, barehanded, barehanded Billy D. <laughs> some shots they cor- color corrected. Some shots they that didn't. guy was just checking for the weather. He's like, oh, oh shit! And the beak returns. Mm-hmm. Can can we start a band called Barehanded Re- Billy D? <laughs> Return <laughs> of the beak. What if like wouldn't like? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just <laughs> flashes to the return of Bruno. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Where was he? <laughs> and who's Bruno? Yeah. Why did Bruce Willis <laughs> had to bring him back? <laughs> and why didn't he return to bring him back? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I thought you were blind. Nah, it's all right. I can see a lot better. Poisson. Poisson. There's a big dead slug behind me. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Archie's like, fuck this. Salacious crumb. No, it doesn't matter. All these characters are about to die in a big fiery explosion anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Including you say that Max, like they'll be missed. Max Rebo. Yeah. <laughs> Max Rebo did nothing wrong. Yeah. All Hashtag. Was kind of play the keyboards. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Yuwata Wunga. <laughs> My good hand. You motherfucker. I mean, talking about droids being designed to feel pain, his fake hand being designed to feel pain. We see that at the end of Empire, though, when it's like poking yeah. his fingers and he's like, ow. Yeah, know? he has nerve reaction. Again, I, I can't speak to why, but I just. Yeah, exactly. Prob- it's well, probably. I, I can understand why his prosthetic hand. Why it's a good thing for it to have, you know, feeling touch reaction. Yeah, mm-hmm. otherwise it's a fucking pain, hand. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it makes it more useful. Oh, such a sh- shitty matte background. I love it. <laughs> Yay! Happy music! Yay! Everybody's dead! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> I killed a hundred people! Yay! <laughs> Max Rebo and the Max Rebo 7 will not be performing tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Their tour right. has been canceled on account of them being blown to smithereens <laughs> by Rebel Scum. He just turned all of Tatooine pro Empire. Yeah, seriously. I like the Max Rebo. They could have been the most popular band. That's why they're at Jabba's for like a limited engagement. Yeah, yeah it's like Billy Joel playing Madison Square Garden. Yeah, or Elton John <laughs> in the fucking Coliseum, but no. <laughs> yeah. And then I always heard that Yoda was never supposed to be originally in Return of the Jedi. In the original drafts, no, he wasn't. They added him to confirm because a lot of kids thought Vader was was lying, lying to Luke. Because he's untrustworthy. Because he's the bad guy. Yeah, and so they added a sequence, the Dagobah sequence, so he could talk to him and Obi Wan to confirm. double secret confirm. Yeah, confirm it for, for once and once and for all. Because Yoda wouldn't lie. I don't know. I wouldn't view. trust a Muppet. There is a deleted scene. In the uh, Dagobah sequence that was recently rediscovered on Laserdisc, because apparently they used to store everything on Laserdisc. That I uh, can actually speak further of that when you're done. But sure, real quick, where yeah, Ghost Obi Wan tells Luke, he's like, "Look, I wanted to tell you, but Yoda told me I swore to Yoda that I wouldn't do it." You were saying about the Laserdisc. Yeah, uh, the, so uh, it's actually, uh, and what you're talking about is actually two scenes because there is like an alternate take of Yoda's death monologue and i forget exactly what goes on but it's it kind of takes the story in a completely different direction and from what i hear they filmed that more so just so they could have like extra footage to play around with but not necessarily because they ever intended it to actually be the story but uh so the with the laser discs in the 80s when laser discs were first you know a thing uh yeah they were they were trying to market them as also uh, uh, data storage device, you know, like a floppy disk or something like that, and more specifically for a very specific, like ILM, 
THX, whatever you know, company uh, Lucasfilm probably uh, proprietary editing software or hardware uh, where everything was stored on the discs, the the laser discs. And, and like I've read up about it and I'm like this is a very complicated system you know it, it, it's clearly good that it never took off you know uh, just the the way that uh, you had to like store everything digitally and or analog because it's not even digital um, and use it to edit and cut and paste and stuff like that like it was just <laughs> uh, but uh, so those discs that were recently found were these demo discs uh, that uh, George Lucas had had made to show off this editing uh, software and hardware. And so uh, never, quote-unquote, intended to actually be in the movie, but like a cute little like thing like, oh, here's how we chop up this you know monologue to make it the version that was in the movie kind of stuff. Yeah, basically B-roll. Yeah. But uh, if you think about it, this is technically at least the theatrical version of, of this of all of them, this is the first time we see Ian McDiarmid as Palpatine because he wasn't originally Palpatine in Empire. Yeah, not even voiced right. by him. Yeah. Forever young, I wanna be. I always thought that was, imp- it seems so like little, but like impressive to see the puppeteer of Yoda get in bed and put the covers over top yeah. of it. Yeah. Hey, man, know. they have the best of the best. Yeah. The scene always bummed me out as a kid. Mm. I was like, everyone likes Yoda. Yeah. I to see Yoda die. Although, you know, it, as Jedis, they don't really die. No. It's kind of like becoming, it's not the true death. Like uh, if we're going true blood status. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> he just becomes a ghost vampire. <laughs> I can't walk out in the sun. And if it's ever played by somebody else in a prequel, we'll be changed into that person. Ugh. Stupidly. I can't even remember if this version of the movie has Hayden Christensen or not. I hope if not. If it's... Well, wouldn't this special edition copy come out? Uh, it came out around the same time as the pre uh, 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 as the prequels, I, I think, which is why then, like, yeah, Boba Fett was voiced over by the, the Django Fett actor. Then, yeah, it's going to have Hayden in it. Mm. Uh, yeah. And you guys have heard our little thing about why that doesn't make any sense. It's not yeah. we're, we're not just being like the prequels are stupid. You shouldn't mention the prequels. Just to reiterate again, we all think it's stupid because if it's we're led to believe that like when they pass on as a Jedi, it's their moment of either redemption or like you know when they were a Jedi. The last time that uh, Anakin Skywalker is Anakin Skywalker, he's not Hayden Christensen. If anything, Hayden Christensen is like the representation of Darth Vader almost as much as the. The suit would have you believe in terms of him turning, right? Because the suit is not what makes him Darth Vader. Like he's long, Chris and Darth not long, but he's Chris and Darth Vader before he's ever put in the suit. Yep. So he it should be. Uh, is it Sebastian Shaw, the actor uh, who plays? I believe so. Yeah. Not even David Prowse. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Da- I know for a <laughs> yeah, fact it's he not gets, David Prowse. You, he, we said it a couple. Of, David Prowse gets continually gets the shaft throughout the series of like, basically he's in the suit. And then basically through Empire and Jedi, he's not even in the lightsaber battles. Mm-hmm. But I still like to think of him as obviously a huge part of. And he appreciates Vader. that, Jake. I hope he does. I, I followed him on Facebook recently. <laughs> no, no, he he does appreciate oh, it. Good, I know for a fact. Oh, good. Luke looks like a beetle in this movie. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit like Ringo. <laughs> Ringo. <laughs> I was going like George, but <laughs> with that hair. Clearly he's John. Clearly. No, no, guys. He is the walrus. Oh. Whoa. Which would make him Paul. Kachoo. No, no. He is the actual walrus. Oh, he's a, he's a walrus. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because Paul is dead. Yeah. But Ben Burt is not. We've learned that. Yeah. No, he is the now anti-walrus. I, feel like dick. I think every single uh, commentary, or at least a handful of them, I've given a rest in peace shout out to Ben Burt, who is uh, not dead. So you've killed him how many times? 
at least two or three according to these commentaries. That's a bummer. Because it's not true. It's got to take a toll on the guy, man. 67. Still making... He worked on the prequels, too. Now, Chris, I feel like you have a good knowledge of, like, the background stuff for this. Mm Mm-hmm. Is the idea of Leia being his sister something kind of like how Empire introduced, in terms of like writing it, introduced the idea of Vader being uh, Luke's father? Where clearly in Episode Four of Star Wars, um, he's th- there's really nothing to make us believe that it was ever written that Vader was the father and Luke was and Leia were sisters. Is Jedi the movie that like in terms of behind the scenes writing the script that was like okay, they're brother and sister? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, there's, there's no real indication that they had intended that from the start, mm-hmm. and I think um, they going into writing this, they were like, well, we, we, we had that big reveal, like we gotta, we gotta like kind of keep up the stamina, you know, like make yeah. something interesting happen in this one. So they decided to not necessarily one up it because I don't, I, I don't feel like the revelation that Luke and Leia are brother and sister. No, is that exciting? But uh, it's exciting when Vader at the end is like, "Oh, sister, sister. a twin sister." But uh, but like, try to try to match it. Mm. Yeah, the different point of view from a different point uh, of view. That fucking that, pisses me off so yeah. much. I'm like, fuck you, Obi Wan, yeah. and fuck you, George Lucas, for thinking that that was going to be an acceptable. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, even I was like, what. And talking about switching everyone up of their force ghosts, like they didn't go back in and make this. Um, well, that's because he died as a light force user. <laughs> yeah, but you I know, mean, just like it'd be, it'd be funny Skywalker. if they just did like a shitty like CG. Of, it's just uh, you and McGregor. Ewan McGregor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like here, it's just like yeah. clearly his head is like not even like on the you know just shittily you can done. Still see like Alec Guinness's yeah. beard poking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And his head, like, uh, it's like that crappy thing, like the Force, the RKO Awakens, where, like, when his head turns, it's like that <laughs> shitty, like, it's just the picture changes. <laughs> there's no graduality to no, it. It's no, just, there's no smooth transition. Right. It's just, yeah, it's just <laughs> Ewan McGregor. The Ewan McGregor cut. Although, I'm all for seeing more Ewan McGregor Obi Wan. Yeah, I'm fine. In, like, with his uh, another Obi-Wan. trilogy or something. Yeah, just, just bring him into 789. Just fucking do it, or like or Rogue do, One. Well, no, but, but like, get him in Rogue One. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we can have stuff happening between three and four now. Yeah. Like, that's a great ex- a universe you can create. Which is why I'm like, make some Vader movies, dude. Like, just only Darth Vader. Make some. Uh, what was it? Uh, Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Uh, I mean, I'm. Or, I would, I'd be more of just seeing Vader. Uh, I mean, not necessarily that. Yeah, yeah, line, yeah. But like, I was about to say that's a huge that, direction. Like, the line. what ifs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, you could do. I, I'm all about seeing Vader. Primetime Vader. We don't ever see Primetime Vader. We see, like, Twilight Vader. He sparkles in the sun. <laughs> shiny. Shiny and chrome. He is, well, it's not really chrome, but he's shiny. There's probably some chrome Metaphorically. In there. Metaphorically speaking, he's chrome. Good Metaphorically catch. speaking. Uh, metaphorically speaking. Spanking? Yeah. Tell me, Doctor, do you like the Thurketh? <laughs> Another Batman forever. <laughs> Hey, it's the third. It's the third movie of a, of, a, of a franchise. This is the sixth. I mean, it's the same thing. Hmm. You know, I think that was the one thing that I took from this from this movie: bury your feelings yeah. deep down inside. And you can always get away with anything if it's a. You can just like it's a different point of view. Yeah, that too. Josh, what do you think? Yeah, you bury your feelings. No, I think Obi Wan's full of it. Ooh! Oh shit! Okay. Oh shit! Hey, I'll well, fight him on it. Well, he is full of it from a certain point of view. From, oh, I love the one R two unit that's like a clear head. It looks like a light bulb. Oh, yeah. They're like those see through phones that every kid had in the nineties. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Uh, although, uh, just in case there are some angry nerds in in the audience, I don't know if necessarily. That was an R2 unit. I'm not very good with oh, the, the yeah. classifications, but uh, you can I even simply can go see. with There's Astro a medical droid, droid again. He's freaking yeah. awesome. He's glowing in the middle like, yeah, yeah. look at me. It's Everyone, everyone look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Yeah. 
I wonder if we're going to see the clear phone droid again. Probably not. She looks like she's in ABBA. <laughs> I don't know why, because she doesn't look like anyone in ABBA. But I can see them wearing those outfits, though. Yeah. That guy's like, fuck that. Fucking medical droid got excited. Yeah, he's like, are the emperor? He's like, I just want to remind you guys, I'm the one who gave Luke's hand. Everyone remember that? Yeah. The alien race that she just referenced that died to bring them this information. Mm-hmm. Boffins? Yeah, I've seen what they look like. God damn, I wish they could have been in this movie because really? they look cool. I have to look this up yeah, now. I don't know if I've <laughs> ever seen what they look like. Uh, Picture the Thundercats. I mean, I'm... The Thundercats? Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, the man who gives birth to one of the greatest memes in Worst. existence. Oh, wow. Yeah, right? Can I pretty fucking cool. Phone's being weird. Yeah, there you go. Look up Bothans, kids. They do look pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'll believe Josh Ooh. this time. Yeah, maybe we'll see them in the movies. I hope so. I mean, yeah, it basically unfortunately, is like they a, didn't steal the plans for uh, Rogue One. It mm-hmm. is like a Thundercat, like, Jedi thing, at least the picture that that uh, Chris pulled up. Yeah. I mean, it all looks like EU uh, fan art, but still. Ooh, I like this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's from uh. Jason Muse. I listen to a lot of uh, uh, Jance and the Bob Get Old. Uh-huh. Because I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, so he's I like that they're Jedi, too. Yeah. Or at least in like all of these fan art things. This is the classic, count me in. And then Ugh. it's like, count me in, too. And I'll walk in and be like, remember me? And I'll be Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Sorry, as much whoa. as I love this movie, it has terrible scenes like this. Yeah, yeah you just want to smack Luke at the airlock for it. Time. There's one alien in the background. Oh, look, there's an A-Wing. That's my favorite. Actually, no, I lied. What am I saying? Josh, what the fuck am I saying? I don't know. It's a fucking Y-Wing. Y-Wings are my favorite. Damn it. Damn it, Josh. Well, there's an A-Wing right now. There was. That's what I was saying. I saw an I-Wing. I was excited. And I was like, or uh, an A-Wing. Yeah. I still don't see any B-Wings. No. You see him in this one, right? You don't You don't see him docked. You only see him Yeah, flying. you see him in this one because like, he gets lit up, doesn't he? And mm-hmm. he like goes into the, one of the Star Destroyers, I feel like. Probably. He's the guy, isn't he the guy in uh, the uh, RKO Awakens who they make him look like he's brushing his teeth? I think that's the, I think that's the pilot. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> yeah, watch please. the RKO Awakens. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. If, Force, if the Force Awakens is 50% as good as the RKO <laughs> Awakens trailer, then we're in for a treat. If it has any of the footage. <laughs> yeah, any of the footage. If it just has Randy Orton, which, by the way, fuck Randy Orton. There's a Orton. lot of saluting in this movie. It's the third time we see saluting. Real. Mm, look at that map painting. Yeah. I we do like their, the uh, satellite g- dish on the Falcon in this, don't we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> I do like the little camo outfits they have in this. <laughs> A little like camo poncho that, mm-hmm. that Luke has. Yep. Bye bye, Direct TV. You'll be yeah. missed. Yeah. They were binging, uh, binging True Blood. And the uh, lost the internet connection in the middle of the battle. Mm-hmm. Maybe, what happens uh, to Alcide? Maybe, maybe, maybe that that's why uh, that one episode of Supergirl had the audio <laughs> messed up because the Millennium Falcon oh, hit the satellite dish. Fuck you, Lando! Uh, you're piling it, it at the was, time. I knew he was a scoundrel. Yeah, and a fiend. I love that they never sell it whenever they go. Uh, in, uh, well, the inertial dampeners on the ships are no, just... That's, that's what it is. <laughs> so well made. I think the only time they sell it is, though, on the Falcon. Oh. Huh. 
By the way, this the this guy, the guy that's in charge of the Super Death Star. Yeah, he's a big actor, right? What else has he been in? Who those two? No, oh. <laughs> the, the guy who was like who's the, the, the Emperor? Emperor coming here. Yeah, what the oh. Yeah, that guy. Vader's like triple O, you bitch. But who were the people that Palpatine was speaking with? I don't know. A bunch of weirdos. Yeah, a bunch of weirdos. Oh, well, they Space look like nerds. it. Yeah. So, Sam, do you think the Bothans should have been in this film? But they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> the ones specifically that stole the just, plans. Just many of them died. But just in general. Maybe that's all of them, man. <laughs> Maybe that's why Mon Mothma is so bummed out. No, there had to be some way to be a buzzkill, Mon Mothma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sam, do you know who the the random Russian people are? No, I don't care about those guys. Josh is the one that cares about those guys. <laughs> I the the, uh, the, I the Grand Moth that's uh, running the Death Star. Oh yeah, he's uh, isn't he in Empire as well? He's like the he's the the one admiral that doesn't get choked out. Possibly that. I mean, that would make sense. He's the one that, that tells. One. Yeah, he tells Vader that the. Um, that the Millennium Falcon got he's he reassures Vader that the uh, hyperdrive was disabled in the Millennium Falcon, then it like hyperdrives away, and he's like, "I feel like that guy t- died." Well, you think he's gonna die, and then Vader just storms away. What does that mean? He's like, "It's an old code, but it checks out." What is it? It's like we don't use those codes anymore, but they're it using the code. It's one they um rotated out of the system, but is still yeah. in there. I mean, granted, like, Vader's like, yeah, we know who it is, let him in. But, like, in reality, they'd be like, no, fuck you, go away. We don't use these codes anymore. But Vader can feel Luke Skywalker's aura. A presence that I haven't felt in since a movie ago. Yeah. In some alternate dimension, he's still going since... They're you know, just sitting there waiting <laughs> for him to say... Yeah, the guy's just like, uh... Lord Vader, it's dinner time. (laughs) I don't eat. (laughs) I eat through a tube. It's disgusting. (laughs) It's like feeding a cat medicine. Would you rather have that or being fed baby food by Anne? Uh, So it is not the same actor. I don't I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What that is. It's So yeah, Robocop feeding or Vader feeding? His character's name is Moff Jergerod. And it's Michael Pennington. But who are the Alfred Russian Pennington? guys? <laughs> I don't care. It's in a, it's they're elaborated on in an EU that no longer exists, so I don't know. Oh, just like the Bothans, <laughs> and anything that makes Boba Fett cool. You can be Bothans in Battlefront Two. Fine, pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty sweet. Because we were looking at pictures of them, they were pretty sweet. It's like if the Cowardly Lion had a lightsaber. <laughs> that's, and, actually, and, that's actually perfect. And looked metal. Oh. So basically if uh, a Thundercat had yeah. a lightsaber. Moff Jergerod played Sherlock Holmes in the Return of Sherlock Holmes TV movie. Hey, it's me. <laughs> like, Is that a spider? I think I see a spider. Nope, I don't see him in anything else that I recognize. Way to fuck up. Who was saying that? Who was saying that Han stepping on the twig determined the entire Battle of Endor? I remember reading that and thinking that it was dumb. Yeah, it was uh, on, on one of the podcasts I listened to. Someone had talked about that turn the, turn the tide right there through the but entire that thing. Backhand that Although, trooper had okay, though on Han was you know impressive. What? Now that I'm thinking of it. Yes, essentially that stepping on the twig is why they meet up with the uh, the um, the Ewoks. Uh, yeah, the unbeatable and the Ewoks, Ewoks are the only reason why they win. Yeah, let's just it's, get it's, that out of the way right sets, now. It sets in motion an event that probably wouldn't have happened without it. What we don't see there now that we're away from Han Solo and Chewbacca, Han Solo probably totally brutally kills that scout trooper with like a rock. Yeah, <laughs> like that's. The only logical explanation. But he doesn't have a gun. scoundrel way. He doesn't. He wasn't using it. Or it got knocked away. Oh. He could just pick him up and shoot him, but I want to say that that was probably too PG. Mark yeah. Wand wanted something darker. 
to be too PG to shoot him. Yeah. And to be fair, for the backhanding he got from that trooper, you know he'd want to bash his brains out. <laughs> I like the little squeak. Yeah. Remember this level in Lego Star Wars? You remember this scene in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yes. I still have I still have flashbacks to trying to beat this in uh, Super Return of the Jedi. This is my Vietnam. I like how he sells it like, yo. <laughs> it took me a while to realize the random horns is part of the score and just not sound effects. Like you can. Oh, it is? Yeah. I always thought it was the engines. I, there's, like, because it's a track on the soundtrack. Interesting. Yeah, I always thought it was the, Just uh... these random, like... Because <laughs> that'd be, like, so the track is just silence and then horns every couple seconds? Cool little, like, what is the noisy cricket? Hmm. Yeah. He finally did. A stormtrooper finally that, did something. That ah, yeah, kinda sounds like Michael Jackson's ah <laughs> from yeah. the uh, from the that end would be of Moonwalker genius that that causes like Joe Pesci to die <laughs> and all the glass to shatter. I mean, uh, knowing Michael Jackson, he probably got ILM to do you know uh, yeah. or Scott uh, T A T T H X or I don't know whoever it is. To do the sound for Moonwalker. The speeder bike overture. Not three minutes, 14 seconds of just... So that, <laughs> that, that boom. Yeah. It, but it seemed, it's so oddly like well-timed that it, it feels like it is yeah. supposed to sound like the speeder bike. This guy has a funny death. It's zany. Star Wars Billy for kids. Zany. But like, yeah. That's, Endor's that's, funniest home videos. Yeah. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> Forest Moon of Indoors, funniest home. <laughs> Saget doesn't care. <laughs> but thank you, Chris. Yes. Um, actually, it's the uh, Forest Moon, just like it's Yavin Four, not just Yavin. That's in the, all the trailers. That shot of three PO like going oh from behind the uh, behind the tree, just like. We still have him. That's a, I, I, I kind of want that trench coat. The camo yeah. trench coat. Pretty cool. oh, yeah. Though, honestly, this is probably my least favorite Han Solo look. Yeah, yeah me too. I think my favorite's the jacket in, in Empire. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I like all these guys in camo and then C-3PO. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chrome. Shiny and chrome. Fun fact, um, Wicket here, um, uh, son of a bitch. Warwick Davis? Yes, thank you. I, I'm totally ready to give this fun fact and completely forgot his name. Uh, wasn't even supposed to be uh, Wicket. Yeah. He was just supposed to be uh, or an Ewok. Uh, and then the guy that was playing Wicket got sick. You know who was playing him? Who was supposed to play him? Who? Kenny Baker, R2-D2. Oh. And he got sick, so he's probably like, Fuck this, because he's finally getting a chance to like have a person, you know, a personality and move around and stuff. And he got sick, so yeah, they cast like eleven year old work. Yeah, years. he was a little kid who was just a huge fan of Star Wars, and then that's somehow pretty awesome. Managed to become an extra for Return of the Jedi, and yeah, got handpicked. That led to Willow. Yeah, mm. yeah, and then playing movie. like three different characters in the Harry Potter series, or at least two. Definitely Green Gods. Uh, the banker. banker and then Professor Flitwick. Yeah, hmm. probably another one. But yeah, if I remember correctly, he's actually the Green Gots banker that like uh, drives the cart in the first one. Sorcerer's Stone. Take that, England. I'll call it Sorcerer's Stone all day long.
Speaking of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, do you think the most annoying part of filming that one was having to do like the reshoots just so American audiences could hear Sorcerer's Stone <laughs> and not be confused by ca- uh, them calling it the Philosopher's Stone yeah. for the British release? Just keeping it like track, like in this take, it's the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, okay. Sorcerer's fuck, fuck. <laughs> Already got all the material we need for American audiences. God, it's so much easier to say because we alliterate it. <laughs> no wonder the Americans like it better. Yeah. We so let me get this straight. We're just changing it to Sorcerer's Stone because the Americans aren't familiar with the Alchemist. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they don't know what a philosopher is. Apparently not. This is about as dumb as when Led Zeppelin spelled their name L E D because they were worried. That Americans would call them lead Zeppelin. <laughs> this is almost as dumb as when uh, Eon Productions renamed License Revoked License to Kill because test audiences apparently didn't know what revoked meant. Yeah, seriously. Nice uh, pea shooter scout. I mean, to be fair, I can't even tell what pistol they are. Another using. salute. That's the fourth salute in this movie. So, uh, wait for it. Salute of the Jedi. Oh, beat him to death. Beat him to death brutally with a stick. Oh, God. So much death and destruction. War is hell. Yeah. I assume they have to kill that. It also never changes. Yeah. I assume. Yeah, for Ron Perlman's to be believed. I assume that they have to kill that scout trooper so he doesn't report back. No, he just died of embarrassment. Yeah. I got beaten by by a a teddy bear and a girl. Distracted by a stick touching his yeah. leg. And he's yeah, like, it's oh. touching his armored leg. Oh. I always thought unfinished Death Star looked cooler than regular Death Star. Agreed. It's like Battle Damage Spider-Man. You know, he looks pretty fucking cool. Battle Damage to anything. Yeah. Or for some reason, though, Spider-Man's like, for me, like the primo Battle Damage thing. Like Terminator, cool. Darth Vader, cool. They- Goku? Which what? Battle damage Goku? Oh, I don't know what that looks like. They will wreck Spider-Man. I yeah, they will. It. Especially the mask, like tufts of hair and stuff sticking yeah. out. Yeah, I like the in, in, in the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man at the end where he still has the mask on, but like a chunk of his eyes missing. Mm-hmm. and like well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. I want to say one of the covers for the Age of Ultron uh, miniseries that the comics did like a year before the movie Age of Ultron came out mm, had yeah. like a, sp- a battle damaged Spider-Man like that on the cover. They and definitely was badass. Yeah, there was definitely a battle damaged Moon Knight on mm-hmm. one of the covers. Where's like got the like assault rifle and he's just like, ah, yeah, I'm insane. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. He has a shirt that says "I'm with stupid" and just pointed up. Mm. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> As you wish. He's like, I guess the conversation's over. <laughs> he just turns oh, his chair like, I'm done. That's not how you end confer- yeah. uh, conversations, Shake? Back shake? streaming Breaking Bad. Oh, I take it back. The Age of Ultron cover that I was thinking of wasn't nearly as badass as I was thinking. He just kind of cut oh, up. Oh, that's still pretty cool. But yeah, for me, like, primo Spider-Man battle damage is like, half his mask is like, fuck. Do it, Chewy. Don't think with your stomach. It's amazing that it's it's no wonder they never can beat the Empire by themselves. <laughs> Fell for the oldest trick in the book. Actually, it's like the first time we see him thinking with his stomach. Yeah. By the by. Well, we haven't seen 
the Han Solo solo film yet. Yeah, it's just all about Chewie eating. <laughs> He's like Brad it's, Pitt. It's going to be called Thinking With Your Stomach. Yeah. And then that, 3 people had a silver hand. Did he? Yeah. He just fucking turned silver, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, guys. We're surrounded by merchandising. <laughs> yeah. That guy's freaky, man. Don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> the power of merchandising compels you to buy us. Having said that, I don't remember a lot of like Ewok plushies or anything growing up. Yeah. Oh, it took a few years. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're although, big now. Just recently, there was um, a special event at my theater where a kid uh, for his birthday uh, watched, uh, like, got uh, got a. Uh, uh, Got us to show, I think, like his personal DVD. It was like a private event uh, of Return of the Jedi, and uh, he was like a little like nine year old kid, and they all came like dressed up in costumes, and there was totally a kid dressed up as an Ewok, oh, and it was geez. adorable. Oh, they thought that was great. Like I lent them my copy of uh, the Ewok Avengers. Got them right there. <laughs> oh, nice. For anybody wondering why we're not doing. Uh, Ewok Adventure or Battle of Endor? Never technically theatrically released. Same reason why we're not doing the Star Wars Holiday Special. Yeah. Slash, we're not doing the Star Wars Holiday Special <laughs> because it's that bad. Yeah. We- Slash, Boba for life. <laughs> He's in it, kind of. It's animated. his first introduction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to watch it on your own. Man, C-3PO needs some Brasso. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Luke. We this can't seri- even take this, that seriously. This entire saga is really about the birth of the god C three PO. I expect you see an episode- him built, and in the last appearance in the original saga, he is a god. I expect on episode seven they come back to this planet, and you see an entire shrine, civilization, and religion built around the golden slash. He already has the hand perfectly for the for the, the queen. The queen wave. He doesn't. You know, he can't really move his fingers. Yeah, but they're gonna develop an entire religion around him in the next movie. Yeah, this is like for me the hardest part to get through is like all this. Is it just because they're just like just these long dialogue sequences? It's just like long dialogue sequences. Of, I will say of this of is like, kind of a slow moment. Yeah. Um, I mean, every Star Wars movie has that, and yeah. for me, this is it. For me, it's it's right after they release. For me, the, the part where I kind of check out the most is not counting the song Dance Number. Yeah. <laughs> Let me make that statement. Um, hey, it, isn't there like, a song yeah. and Dance Number at the end, too, they added for the special? Uh, they changed they it. Ru- they yeah. took away my yub nub. Yeah. And put in some, like, fan fa- <laughs> like, just instrumental stuff. It's the Rocky fanfare. Some yeah. Yeah, that's look, so weird. Look at that chrome leg he's got. But uh, shiny. Yeah. So kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk, babies. Like, wow. Yeah. No, he's still not even full gold. Yeah, and if we're led, like I said, we led to believe by the pop figure. He's got a red, red arm in yeah. Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah. They, and I've seen, uh, I've seen like a promo shot. Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The, the the thing that bothers me about this like little like lull is the fact that like they treat him like a god but they go no 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 we are going to cook these people <laughs> yeah. yeah we know our religion better than you yeah. and so therefore he has to like luke has to levitate him yeah, yeah. granted it's probably because that the their their little priest there is like, oh no, I've built this whole entire religion based on lies, and now yeah. I need to save face. Yeah, no, I totally want to like eat these things. Yeah. I don't think you know, we haven't eaten in days, guys. But We're so- cannibals? Yeah, but soon you will feast on scout troopers. You think about that. Yeah, well, so, meat so eaters, of- maybe, but cannibals? I don't see them eating their own kind. Uh, you don't see it, but <laughs> that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Uh, but... Uh, 
But uh, between the between the scenes, I remember. I remember a couple of years ago, like a big like post started going around the internet that was like, "Wait a second, at the end of Return of the Jedi, we see all those like stormtrooper and scout trooper helmets. That means that the Ewoks ate those guys, and like it was like some yeah. big like re- revelation that they eat you know people. And I'm like, well, yeah, their first appearance, they're trying to cook Han, Luke, and Chewie, and you know anyone else that's part of that." Why? Why is anyone surprised that the real fuck that thing is? What if like Luke, Leia, and Han had something? They're like, "Hey, check out this awesome barbacoa sandwich we made for you." And they're like, "Sweet!" And they eat it, and they're just like, "You just ate a stormtrooper." And they're like, "Oh shit! Oh shit!" Yeah. For whatever reason, Return of the Jedi also feels the most like, like stuff like Goonies, like Amblin Entertainment kind of. Yeah. <laughs> the night after or the yeah. morning after. <laughs> and this is nice, like when you, you know, wake up in a pool of your own vomit. Yeah. Oh, Fuck too real. Yo! What? Oh no! Yeah, this guy's the little jump. Woohoo! Oh! Ooh. Gives up his thruster packs but gets a great little stun baton. Yeah. Now we're going to the Ewoks learn to mate from Luke and Le- or from uh, <laughs> ha, yeah. ooh, Leia and Han. I mean, they could. We learn know from what Luke you meant, Sam, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly planet. how they learned. Yeah. <laughs> Luke and Leia. <laughs> I this is like on like you were saying. This is probably like my favorite C three PO in the. Oh, movie. where he's like telling the story. Well, no, oh, just, oh, just, just oh, C three PO in general. Yeah, yeah. I like how he has like the all these sound effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the story's pretty good. But yeah, the uh, a little factually inaccurate. He kind of skims over some details. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he was a real Star Wars fan, yeah, he's getting high. This guy's his finest pipe weed in the South Farthing. <laughs> Although I feel like it's R two of it. He's doing the sound effects, probably. I do like the idea of like them watching their adventures. They're like, "Oh shit, we did!" Oh, do that. he blew up and the then, Death Star. Oh! Yeah. And then, and then also, why does a god have to become part of the tribe by telling a story? And what does God well, it's not, need with a starship? <laughs> well, he's just uh, he's explaining wh- why they're you know like this is why you should like fuck up the white armored things, not the fact that they've invaded your planet and like plowed down part of the forest. And probably shoot you guys on sight. But no, here's the entire story. And they're like, oh, okay. Okay. So they just accept the, the, the human rebels as yeah. part of their clan. Okay. Yeah. There's the, well, that, th- now they've learned their motivations while they're there. They're like, oh. And it's more of like a we're with you kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Kind of, yeah, it's like Not a bond. we embrace you yeah. as one of our own. Because then yeah. right, a- right after this, they're like, yo, there's like a secret entrance over there. And they're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> After, I guess, their drum yeah. circle. Well, yeah, bro. <laughs> gotta have the drum circle. Yeah, they've already got the weed. Mm. Yeah. Check out this drum solo on Moby Dick by John Bonham. It's sick. I could finally play <laughs> YYZ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was Holland's very first amiibo he got, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's... I, I need to go. I'm probably going to do Disney Infinity next. Oh, God help sweet. me. <laughs> I'd buy a fucking Start amiibo with Lego for that Dimension, shit. Sam. <laughs> Say what? Start with Lego Dimensions. Yeah, just because it has Doctor Who and, and Ghostbusters? No, and because after you're done with the game, you have Legos. Uh, well, after you're done with Star Wars and, or Disney Infinity, you've got Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, and Marvel figures. You have the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I could have the Lone Ranger team up with Lone Mr. Ranger. Incredible and Tron. Does that not sound awesome? <laughs> Yeah, Josh. Tron. No, because I've you always seen clear Cora and Flynn, Ranger. and Flynn looks horrible as a Disney infi- uh, Infinity figure. Yeah, well, fuck you, Josh. You look terrible as a Disney Infinity figure. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> Leia's hair looks stupid. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> Fish face. Luke, he's like, your hair that. is dumb. <laughs> My sister has dumb hair. I think he could be related to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <I> see <laughs> oh, the yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the Bacon brothers, the other Bacon looks Have a you? lot like him. Yeah. Not Kevin Bacon. Right, right. Obviously, the, the fucking brothers, but yeah. Yeah. I would say his... How brother. is their music? 
I don't know. I've never really like, listened uh-huh. to it. If it's just guitars and <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my um my uncle, my dad's brother, looked a lot like Kevin Bacon. Ah. I feel like it's very folksy. None of us music. look like Kevin Bacon. Mm. <laughs> Miss those jeans. Well, yeah. if you shaved your beard, you would look exactly like Kevin Bacon. Pretty much. But I just couldn't handle that, like having the same name as a famous director, and then looking. Yeah, like your your exactly. name's Christopher Nolan, and you look like Kevin Bacon. What a weird combo. And you play guitar like Dave Mustaine. Yeah, and I sing like Keanu Reeves. Oh, I shit. don't even know if he sings in that band, but no, he's a bass player. I love that he, yeah. That's, Whoa, that's such you know a, bass players can sing, too. Well, no, no, that's such a great thing. Like, Keanu Reeves is in a celebrity band. Like, yeah. you, know, you know, he's a celebrity in a band, and he's not the lead singer or lead anything. He's just yeah. the bass player. Yeah. That's just so Keanu, man. <laughs> that's so Raven. That's Oh, God, it is so Raven. Oh. <gasps> is this the Force Awakens trailer? Yeah. Yes. <gasps> I'm looking right at you when I say sister. You, you are my sister. Well, this sister sounds pretty cool, Luke. Who is she? Yeah. Have I met her? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you have in a different are point we of pen view. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, I'm the sister. It was me, James. <laughs> I was your sister all I along. I was the rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was the one with the stupid hair and rosy cheeks. It was me, James. Uh, I was the false teeth. I was the laser that almost cut you in half and Goldfinger, James. It was me. I was the shark that ate half a Felix. I was the RPG. I was the missile that you dodged with a truck and licensed to kill. It was me, James. I was the one choking the cat in Goldeneye. (laughs) 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 The author of all your pain. (laughs) I was the loaf the Soviet trooper was dropping in the toilet when you came in from the ventilation chamber shaft in Goldeneye. It was me, James. (laughs) Courtesy flush, James. I was the butterflies on the Eiffel Tower. (laughs) The one that went in that Frenchman's neck. It was me. (laughs) I haven't even seen that one. Do a kill? Yeah. Yeah. I was the view. To, to a kill. kill, James. I was the bomb that blew up Grace Jones. I was Grace Jones. <laughs> it was me. The one, that, the woman that you had the roughest sex with. It yeah. was me. I was the third nipple on Scaramanga, James. I was the midget butler, James. <laughs> it was me. I was the little person. I was the song Three Blind Mice that opens Dr. No, which is fucking weird. It was me, James. <laughs> I'm the weird blinking dots at the beginning of every movie, James. It's me. You know what those are actually supposed to be? Like, I, I found it out, and it, it's really weird. Bullet holes. He's getting shot at. Da-da. Yeah, the little like the little yeah. white things are supposed yeah. to be bullet holes. You guys remember when we were watching Return of the Jedi? Yeah, well, that is the boring part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. It was the, the, the emotional stuff. Yeah. You have a sister, fine. Yeah. Get it, bad, bad, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get the hey, lightsaber battle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We never see that AT-AT in, in action in the film. In a lot of the That's games, he's on parole. Or uh, patrol. Parole. <laughs> 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 he screwed up on Hoth. He's the one that got RKO'd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch Ooh. out, watch out. It actually plays a defining moment in the new Battlefront game. Oh, does it? Uh, this is yeah. one of my favorite mm-hmm. moments. On the end order. With Map. Luke and uh, Vader, constructed your oh, own lightsaber. Well, yeah, just like the, the yeah the, the talk that they have. This is where I, I get sucked back in. I'm like, yeah. And that, you also lost the vest. A dildo. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. He writes in his journal, Lord Vader said I did good today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dear diary, it finally happened. <laughs> You'll never believe what happened to me. He's like, what? Oh, man. Don't you cheat my dildo at me.
But yeah, this where he turns away. Mm -hmm. That's all David Prowse, man. Gives him a haircut in the back. Hippie. This is soap opera. Yeah. Come with me. It's my favorite Zeppelin song. It's my favorite uh, uh, pff, fucking <laughs> Puff. <laughs> Puff Daddy song. It's actually a terrible Puff Daddy song. But it's a great <laughs> Zeppelin song. Cashmere, yeah. I don't even know if Cashmere is actually my favorite Zeppelin song, but the version with Puff Daddy. <laughs> Puff Daddy's Come With Me is my favorite Led Zeppelin song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, if your favorite version to come together. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hey, at least it's not the Aerosmith version. <laughs> Ooh, come with me. <laughs> and the stormtroopers are just like, did we walk in on a bad time? Uh, <laughs> is, this, is this your dad? <laughs> They're in the elevator. They're like, so, dude, is that really your dad? Uh, well, sir, you, you yeah. know the Empire has counseling services available for you, right? I really fucked up that father-son meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get anything right. <laughs> Stupid. Come on, Annie. Yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. Bring your kid to work day, my ass. Yeah. Might as well just throw away that world's number one dad mug. Yeah. Bye, Forest Moon of Endor. Avenge me. <laughs> so dumb with Man, me. seeing that satellite dish, I now know why Lando knocked the one off the Falcon. <laughs> Can't even get HBO. <laughs> Ketchup Naboo. Yamcha. Chibuki Yuki. Boogie Woogie Woogie Woogie. There's my bay wing. Those were uh, digitally added into the, um, I want to say the THX version. Like I'm okay with that. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying they weren't always there. Thanks, King Kai. <laughs> yeah. Goku's been... I, I don't do any balls either. <laughs> Goku's been using the Kaio Ken the entire time! <laughs> <laughs> you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish! <laughs> uh, we should do a DBZ show. <laughs> I have all the movies on Blu-ray, except for Battle of Gods and um, Resurrection F. I, on, I was bored at work. I I uh, got the poster for Resurrection of F and photoshopped Resurrection of Fuck Yourself on it and was proud of it. Yeah. I mean, who needs another Frieza story? Yeah. Who needs a movie about Frieza called where you just abbreviate his name to F? I think this is called Return of the J. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do they mean Jedi, Jedi or Revenge of the S? Yeah, <laughs> they just the shorten C. it down to yeah. RJ, <laughs> the Phantom M. <laughs> the A E strikes H. back. Yeah, <laughs> the E strikes back, <laughs> or the Emperor strikes B. <laughs> Star W. The F awakens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thought process, uh, Kira Toriyama behind behind naming Resurrection F. Resurrection F. If you want, I will print out and mail you my poster <laughs> of Resurrection Fuck Yourself. I, I wouldn't mind having it. <laughs> I love the, uh, the little Ewok, like, flying, <laughs> like, holding on, and his, like, feet are flying in the background. If that, like, if that's... Like, yeah, I know... That can be, uh, like, a, the poster that I get you. Yeah, exactly. 
Like that's my favorite Ewok thing ever. Just the shot. Of <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. Superman yeah, right pose. <laughs> it's just, yeah. And he somehow was like, okay. Drunk. Yeah. Yep, definitely drunk. <laughs> so, um, the uh, fucking and then this. I could just, yeah, I this could just shoot you, but no, yeah. I'm going to... Hey, get back here. Oh, boy. To your diary. Well, I'm because in. they use him to open the door. Uh, Good point. They use his severed head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> reads the eye I think his head pop falls out fuck him there he yeah. is fucking um, they're gonna be so fucking mad. demolition man style mm-hmm. we haven't even built the frame in the bottom left or bottom right ah fuck it from a certain point of view it's the bottom left yeah <laughs> it is a sphere <laughs> uses all three dimensions What's your favorite movie starring Dustin Hoffman? Is it The Sphere? I do enjoy that movie. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if it's better than Tootsie, though. Yeah, there you go. Or The Graduate. Or Little Big Man. Oh. <laughs> or Rain Man. <laughs> Meet the Fockers. <laughs> oh. I like Kramer versus Kramer versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean I could have used the force to unshackle myself at any time? He's so, like, awestruck by it. He's like, oh. It's real. Yeah, you could. Th- <laughs> These guys are like, oh, okay. They're so cool, but that we never see them in action. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I've always heard, and I remember asking someone in the 501st, I can't remember if they said it was true or not, but that they look like Stormtrooper armor underneath their, um, yeah, like they Stormtrooper do. armor underneath oh. their, their cloak. If I remember, and they're cor- like. If I remember correctly, they do. They're like the shit. Yeah, like the they're shit. the elite guard. They, so that means they sometimes hit their target. <laughs> the 501st, like, jerk off dreaming that they won. Well, day uh, at the shop when we had, um, I don't know if it was Star Wars Day, but I, 501st has been generous to come to a bunch of events the comic shop has thrown. And I, get, I think it might have been Star Wars Day, but there was a guy dressed up as an Imperial, Imperial mm-hmm. guard. It was awesome. The Emperor's got her same same birthday, Sam. I love the fact that Ian McDermott was young enough during the filming of this movie that he was able to reprise his role in the prequels and look... I mean, granted, he's wearing a lot of makeup right now, but still look, you know, the appropriate age outside of makeup in the prequels. Until he put on that terrible makeup in Revenge oh, of the Sith. Yeah, and that terrible acting. God. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Ultimate power. Yeah. There's chewing scenery and then there's ruining a fucking movie. Guess what <laughs> guess what you did? Uh little call me, little call me. <laughs> Why don't there. you just treat him like a bad dog and rub his face in it? Yeah. <laughs> listen to this one, Ian. You listen to this? Yeah. Happy birthday on our birthdays. Click. Ian McTerm is just like, ooh, someone did a commentary yeah. for the Star Wars movies. Let me watch them. Oh, yeah. they had the same birthday as me? Cool. Oh, well, they should have So made? would you sure. say that was his shattered glass performance of the yeah, they series? Can, they can't all be they can't all be sleeping hollow sleepy hollow job. <laughs> Where he gets like also they can't be sleeping hollow. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> True blood. This, the Emperor man. basically here is going, Oh nanny nanny boo boo, I forgot. <laughs> He's like, that's like, but seriously, fuck dun, you. Dun, 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 dun. I love the soundtrack here. And this I guy, love those guys' <laughs> helmets. <laughs> this guy's about to get fucked. Oof. Rebel scum. This for me was the hardest level in the actually all of Super Return of the Jedi. Because you have to. It's just fucking dumb. Wait. I swear, right there, both of his legs look gold. Yeah, they, they kind of do. Yeah, they. Fuck Rocked. you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't need the charges. How many five o firsters hear that line are just like, oh, 
yeah. How many times do you think he practiced that line oh, yeah. in the mirror just to get it right for that one shot? Yeah. <laughs> this is my one line in all of the Star Wars saga. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to act the shit out of it. Speaking of which, we're about to get another one of those lines. So Ugh. there's the forest moon. Where's the the planet that the moon orbits? I assume it's just enormous and like off screen. <laughs> yep. I mean, look at how big that moon is. Yeah. And to be fair, moons don't necessarily have to be bigger like in in uh, mass than um than uh, the planet they're orbiting. They just have to be orbiting something that has a higher gravitational pull. Yeah. Yeah, they just have to be the uh, the subordinate orbit. Right. It could just be a dense small planet on the yeah. other side. Yeah, arguably, we are a moon of the sun. Truth. Because a moon is just like another word for a satellite, right? Uh, it's, it, 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 a planetoid, a planetoid, yeah, a planetoid yeah. satellite. Yeah. And I think Ugh. if it, yeah, I think if it's orbiting a um, a sun, just, it's obviously just a planet. But why yeah. don't we just say it's over nine thousand too? <laughs> yeah. All the memes. I do like that. Digitally, they added more. That that one shot. Uh, Right there went your Y wing. Digitally added more. That's actually for the time when it was filmed or edited together yeah. was the most complex uh, digital or not digital, but quote unquote, you know, d- 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 effect shot ever filmed. Yeah, because of how many layers of ships that it required, and not in this version because they digitally corrected it, but the original version. If you go by frame by frame, you can see in one of the shots when the falcon is flying over the camera there's an h on it and i forget what that h means but it's in in just like one frame uh but like they they they, they missed it while they were like editing them together and they didn't repair the slug on the emperor's face which is something that's always bothered me and it's because there was um like a bit of his makeup was like reflecting light on the inside of his cowl and so they like went in with a sharpie, not a sh- real sharpie, but like they went in and like matted, you know, uh, with a mat, a garbage mat, if I may use um, industry terms, uh, to cover the the shimmer. And it's like dulled down in this version because it's a lot less noticeable than like my old VHS copy uh, and my laserdisc copy, but it's still there, and it's always bugged me. They fixed it in the Blu-ray. That's like the one. <laughs> Good thing about the Blu-ray. How do you feel about uh, Ewoks blinking? I don't really care. I could go either way. Yeah, like it's 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 not a, a deal breaker. Like it's not Latinek, but it's also not something that I'm like, thank God they finally fixed it. Who cares that they blink? They still eat people. It's. I think it's the perfect example. <laughs> I think That's it's the perfect example. And there's no fixing and that. And representation of how stupid and pointless all of it is because it's just a waste of money. Yeah. So this is basically like the actual like inciting turning point of the battle. Uh, uh, you know, you could you could say like cause and effect the the stepping on the twig, but like this is where it actually like turns. And one of my questions that I've always had with other Star Wars nerds is why doesn't the Emperor see this? And the theory that I've come up with is that the Ewoks inherently have something that blocks force perception. What do you guys think? I just think he, yeah, he's just, you know, he's too proud to, he, like, I'm sure he's aware there's a native population on Endor, but he's just like, they're so technically unadvanced, they're they're a non-issue. They won't, you know. But but with his force foresight, his foresight, <laughs> uh, wouldn't he have seen these events transpire, and wouldn't he have taking measures to do something like he saw the rebels attacking. He knew exactly well, what he, they were going to do it with his force. Well, force. if I also it, remember that, I assume that he knew that they were going to attack him because he allowed them to get the information. He's mm-hmm. like, I know that they were going to, you know, I allowed that information to get out, but force users can see the future. Oh, I mean, yeah, extent. we've seen that. Hey, exactly. Of only to a certain extent. They aren't, all knowing, all yeah. seeing. It's like Anakin's yeah, visions. But he should also revenge. be able to sense what's going on on the 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 forest moon right now. He can well. He can probably, but at the same, I think he's too like 
wrapped he's up with his current. Well, yes. he's yeah, he's cl- clearly got like you know like Skywalker just like glowering in front of him, just clouding everything. So I think he's a little. Yeah. Um, you know, it, he's, maybe Skywalker's dampening all of this. Well, Skywalker, it's like maybe he's so distracted with Su- Skywalker that he's not paying f- the full attention. Yeah, that he he's should got. Be. I, I always assume telepathy is something kind of like you hear voices, mm-hmm. and he's got a very loud voice in Skywalker, like right in the same mm-hmm. room, so he can't listen to. To the other shit. Ah, ha, ha, little funny moment. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, this is like the buzzing of flies to him. You are like the buzzing of flies. Yeah. To you just made a Ghostbusters 2 reference, you piece of shit. And that's the only time it's going to happen. What do you think, Jake? <laughs> the Scapelli brothers. I'm just waiting for the lightsaber battle. All this is... Blah, 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 blah. That's my official statement. Well, fuck you, Jake. <laughs> I think the Ewoks are too short. He couldn't see them. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you a little short to be an Ewok? Or the fact that he honestly was like, Ewoks? The fuck? Yeah, again, I'm sure he's aware there's a native population, but he's just like, my guys, my, there are legions of my best men. They can handle it. Yeah. They're the 501st. Yeah. Fuck Kevin's you. down there. Yeah. Kevin's about to get eaten. Kevin's about to get wrecked. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the Ten of Four kind of. Digitally added in. Yeah. Wedge. Just like those, uh, I don't know if uh, the interceptors were added in. This is the... That's the guy who looks like he's brushing his teeth. Yeah, Yeah, I don't remember what he's piloting. I thought it was a B-Wing. It's a Y-Wing? Okay. Well, that's my favorite, so he's cool. (laughs) Ooh, intercept that. Yeah. (laughs) Because it was a TIE interceptor. Yeah. The curved wing. With the shocker in front. (laughs) He's been demoted to Star Destroyer. Well, it's the uh, Executor. It's true. That's uh, Vader's personal Super Star Destroyer? That's the one. Yeah. So he's like, yeah. Palpatine's, so he switched positions. Yeah, but Palpatine's like busy, like, mmm, mmm. I can sense yeah. your, like, he's just mm, like around. titties. Yeah. I can sense all Suck that hatred in you. Oh, he's yeah. got the eyes of the Hypnotoad. Palpatine does. <laughs> yeah. Is that better or worse than the eyes of a tiger? Or the eyes of March. Ooh. Better than those. Oh, fuck! Ooh, they <laughs> wrecked the sound effects for that. I don't. I think this is the first time I've seen this movie this far through since the theatrical re-release of the special editions. Mm. And I just got blown away by that weird sound effect. Goku, <laughs> you have to go fight Frieza. This guy gets kind of hit, but he's like, "No, I'm still in it." <laughs> I think it's the only time I've ever seen a stormtrooper actually take a laser blast hit. <laughs> yeah, the, the armor. And he can... dies by stick. <laughs> yeah, he gets stabbed to death by teddy bears, and then eaten. Yeah. Oh, oh in the face. He gets a couple of, like good shots. I mean, he's already gotten a couple of good shots in on this fight. After what happens to Leia, he like basically immediately mm. shoots that dude. I always joke that there's a shrine in the Empire like the Academy for Stormtroopers of the Stormtrooper that hits Leia because what about he hits the one that hit R two. Well it's not human. Oh god oh. Yeah, he's dead. But yeah, but the guy who like saves the day he gets immediately gets shot, but Or who shoots Leia. <laughs> Don't you know that I love you? <laughs> Can't Don't you see I love, love you. you? Oh yeah, can't you see? Damn it. I love this screw up he has. Mm, it's funny. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I got it. We're gonna make you give a shit about this Ewok. Mm. Pardon me while I cry. <laughs> Man, what a wild night, right? <laughs> Come on, Jim, we got work to do. Jim. Jim? If this movie had balls, it just would have been half an Ewok, and he just would have been dragging them like, oh, oh, no. We see all the PTSD Ewoks during the celebration. (laughs) 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 
You know, who's in charge here? Yeah. Oh, well, in that case. Yeah. The only... Only... Oh, there's the only Asian pilot. <laughs> <laughs> and gone. At least he took those guys on that level with him. Yeah, just like, oh, hey, God. 20 guys dead. Yeah. The Russian dude takes out the fucking executor. Is the emperor sleepy or... <laughs> He Slowly probably is because this is like leading. This is so fucking like tedious and boring. And then th- he grabs the lightsaber. They unsheath their dongs, and then it cuts to another scene. And I'm like, damn it! <laughs> it's always the commercial break moment when they oh. show this on, uh, on yeah. TV. It's like we finally get there, and then look like, at him. He's like coming. Yeah. yeah, that's why he can't sense what's going on in Endor. Okay. He's I'll just it. like, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I I accept your reasoning <laughs> upon further investigation. <laughs> Second viewing reveals. Yeah. The replay. I got so distracted by, why can't he see it? That I didn't even bother to, like, review the tape. Yeah. <laughs> Contextually speaking. Yeah! And mm-hmm. commercial. Semen everywhere. Yeah, let's go back to teddy bears. It looked like Luke's lightsaber was going right through Vader's you nut. You don't know the physics of lightsabers. <laughs> You Are don't they, know. I do know <laughs> shitty special effects when I see them. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, tell that to uh, fucking George Lucas, who was like, I've corrected all three of them. Yeah, oh, yeah Lucas, right, go fuck yourself. Your ILM department does. screwed up there. Oh. I'll show him. Yeah. Oh, fuck! I've always loved you. <laughs> <laughs> I regret nothing. Yeah. We're now going to brutally stab you to death with sticks. Ah. Remember when Darth Vader said never open the hatch for anything? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Slapstick comedy. Yeah, not cool. Oh, guys. shit. So in Force Unleashed, I haven't played it, but I know about what happens. You, uh, Han Solo accidentally kills Chewie uh, in the DLC when you're fighting him. Like, you trick him into killing Chewie. Yeah, in Force Unleashed too. And I think you fight Leia with the light, and she has a lightsaber. Ah, and this is the turning point for the Battle of Endor, because up until then, it's kind of like the Empire's kind of kicking ass, right? Yeah. Because the Ewoks don't know how to respond to ATSTs, and they're like, oh, well, good thing we have other log and, and rock tricks. Yeah, good thing we have those two logs <laughs> that can crush an ATST. Yeah. Or trip them up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking one ATST that looks like Ed 209 yeah. trying to walk yeah. downstairs. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I think you should have the wrong target. Yeah. Not cool, Bob. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I'm sorry I slept with your wife. <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah. I should just jump off. So, do this. The oh, God. Riders? That's one of the most violent that deaths. like, fucking cut him in half. That's yeah. one of the most violent deaths in Star Wars history. Yeah, he probably has no trachea anymore. <laughs> If the riders are on their speeder bikes when they explode, do they disintegrate along with them? Yes. Yes. We don't see any burnt, like, guts. Okay, cool. Jet fuel melts star troopers. (laughs) (laughs) It is. I was was not prepared for this. Oh, whoa. Blame it on the alcohol. Blame Blame it on the uh, hen. uh, 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 Blame it on the henny. (laughs) Blame it on the juice. Got you feeling loose. (laughs) Shoot him in the face, Han. Yeah. He just copped a field. He did. Yeah. He's a scoundrel. <laughs> I did. Yeah, shoot that she one should in the be face. fine. The wound would have cauterized itself. I mean, you still got a massive fucking burn. Yeah, it's still painful. <laughs> <laughs> sure, she's not bleeding. That's a nice she's little not, throwback from to a new hope. Empire Strikes Wait, Back. Wait, yet there was, there was blood on Han's hand. There's blood on all of them. Yeah, there is. No, I meant. <laughs> I saw the red. <laughs> See? Yeah, he does. He's got blood in his hand. Could God his damn it, Star Wars! You had also, one job. Surface surface wounds, like a surface burn, still, is still gonna have. Like, it still would bleed. It just cauterizes before. Have you never it, like, had a third out. degree burn before? No, I have. They suck. Oh, <laughs> how I mean, much? A lot. Pretty uh, pretty bad. <laughs> okay. The smell of charred uh, charred skin. Your own? Usually <laughs> Did not, you have to not get a great. skin graft? That's fucking terrible. Oh, it's just did the they knuckle. Take, oh. they take butt skin? 
No, again, no, no skin grafts. <laughs> Anal but, or otherwise. <laughs> they take rectum skin? <laughs> I hear it's the sweetest skin. <laughs> Ass skin on my knuckles now? <laughs> That's why you keep chewing your knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Tastes like home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a lightsaber. I can turn it back on. I did like that like sound effect, the mm-hmm. crinkling. Like, people always talk about the emotion of episode three. Back it's flip. like got nothing on this. Yeah. Yeah. Partially because uh, there's good actors involved in this case. Mm-hmm. And it's not, you know, it's quality over quantity. Mm. So when they say destroy, they mean kill, right? Yeah. Okay. This is one of my favorite force moves, the lightsaber throw, although it doesn't spin back to him. You don't see it. It's yeah. He goes, one on, 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 on. My favorite thing is that Force Unleashed is you pick a stone trooper up and then you throw the lightsaber on him. He's like, yeah, blah, blah, like doing like a little shake thing and it's stuck in him and you pull it. You really enjoy those games, don't you? It's fun, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're frustrating as hell and I get really, really angry, but they're still fun. Two is so disappointingly short, though. Dear Good shot, Di- Jensen. Dear Diary. <laughs> <laughs> Wedge says that I shot well. Yeah. You're talking out loud over your microphone. Oh, shit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> They're all like got like these big grins like, yes, this is awesome. Best day of work ever. Does that mean we get casual Friday tomorrow? Yes. Wait, why are there so many dead stormtroopers? Yeah. Oh, and then this. Here comes yeah. Sam's cover photo. Yeah. When they, yeah. Mm. There it is. <laughs> when they said reinforcements, they meant like a dozen guys, right? That's like what they mean by reinforcements. That's all yeah. they need. Yes. Yeah. Send a team. <laughs> yeah. I love how like scared like Luke is here. Yeah. Hide and seek with dad. He should be able to just sense where he's hiding, right? I assume he can. I also assume Luke can kind of like mask his signal a bit with his own force ability. Which is why his guard was let down about his sister because he was focusing on other things. And as we've established earlier in this commentary, sometimes you can only focus on one thing with force powers. Yeah. And, you know, I think, yeah, he's. Also, I think. His, you know, his uh, love for Leia is at the forefront of his mind. Like, I gotta keep her safe. Yeah. Like, as he, he's doing this, and he's like, "You're basically psychically, you're basically screaming it, man. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill you both." Return. Also, also, when you're trying to not think about something, it's always the only thing you can think about. The old pink elephant mm-hmm. rule. No. Knew I shouldn't have said pink elephant. <laughs> Brings out the worst in Skywalker. <laughs> I was like, I, I like the score pink. here too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is cool. You see the shadow like silhouettes. They do such a good job of playing with lighting here. Mm-hmm. How like especially like during that previous uh, side sequence, shot, it yeah. was all like very dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, like practically silhouettes. Mm-hmm. Fuck your hand. You cut off my hand, I cut off yours. Wait a second, someone already did. Yeah. Wait, father, you've got son, a robot body. hand too? Like <laughs> father, like son. Here's the thing. If Palpatine hadn't like taunted him here, would he just keep going? Just like, yeah. I, mean, I think he had already started. To I think, yeah, he, I think he, he had, had already. Uh, started to apply restraint. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he cut the hand off and he was like, oh, shh. 
Shit. Oh, I can't put that back together. Ew. Robot hand two. Yeah. <laughs> Robot hand <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer, Chris. <laughs> He's not smiling anymore. He's still very, very polite, Your yeah. Highness. <laughs> With everything that's gone on, he yeah. still respects his place. I'm not happy anymore. Like, give us a no, 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 just for old time's sakes. No, no. It's got a better director. You can see Han. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, there's a protective screen to protect Harrison Ford. You could kind of see his reflection from it when he's running away. You can see it in Raiders with the Cobra too. Yeah. Well, yeah. there was the satellite TV. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why you don't pick dish guys. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the free porn. <laughs> Guess I'll just have to go to Pornhub again. <laughs> mm. Red to biatch. Pornhub announced on the day uh, that uh, Fallout Four uh, was released. They had a 10% drop in traffic. Yep. Josh. They need your business. <laughs> Josh is the 10%. Guys, I need two hands to play video games. <laughs> you're not doing it right. <laughs> Clearly, you're not playing DOA Beach Volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Extreme oh, Beach God. Volleyball 2 for yeah. the 360. You only needed to hit X. Yeah. <laughs> it did everything else for you. And I also love the symbolism of Luke's costume right now Mm -hmm. Uh, because it was all black and then he defied the emperor and it gets uh, not torn away, but like, you know, kind of unfurled. And he's got that white triangle when he sits, uh, when he stands back up. He didn't have it there, which is really weird. (laughs) It was closed. Yeah. But yeah, he clearly had it open before. I mean, depending on uh, which take it is, he has and doesn't have it. Yeah. Just because of continuity errors and writhing. Yeah. This is like this this whole thing that you know when I first saw Return of the Jedi on VHS at a sleepover at a friend's house. This whole like idea of like Vader becoming good and redeeming himself was like blew my little like eight year old mind. I thought that was the coolest thing in the you world. Know what is really wigging me out right now. Hmm. I think this is a a special edition edit. In these close up shots, the background is really you know really out of focus. Yeah, but the star field is not, mm. and it's bothering the shit out of me oh i also like when vader gets electrocuted when he's picking up the emperor you could see his skull mm. like his skeleton and it's awesome i want your skull he does take his time he's like mm, he was a little dick to me and, and empire strikes back he's well he's struggling how yeah. well, dumb yeah. is it that he added that that dialogue from uh revenge of the sith here yeah. i'm so glad i don't have the blu-rays yeah that's the Hey, uh, George Lucas, that one edition is the entire reason why I don't have Star Wars on Blu-ray. And and nor do I have the digital Me too. copies. Yeah. BT dubs, Georgie. Georgie Porgy. <laughs> Made all the girlies cry. Made me cry, too. Well, I mean, you are a girl. Shh. <laughs> don't let them know. My brother and I always thought it was funny. It's, <laughs> we always thought it was funny that it sounds like he's saying diaper. Systems failing. Hold I my think he forgot please. his inhaler. <laughs> times are times are tough for old DV. Yeah. But yeah, that that scene is just the coolest. I saw a fa- I think it's a fan. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, obviously a fan edit on YouTube where when he's looking back and forth, struggling, you know, to overcome his thing, a fan had put in scenes key moments of Anakin's life mm. leading uh, up to that moment. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. That would have been a good addition. George. <laughs> and George. so it's almost like in Rambo 4 or whatever, John Rambo, whatever you want to oh, call yeah. it, yeah. where he uh, he has that, that nightmare. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like so that. He's like it's, Troutman and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I like how they play the happy music when Mustache Man that kind of looks vaguely like Bill Cower blows up. <laughs> Bill Cower. <laughs> they fucking the hate chin. Bill Cower, <laughs> Bill Cower power hour. Okay. There you go, Josh. We just fucking hate satellites in this movie. <laughs> or satellite dishes, at least. It's all propaganda. This for reminds cable, me man. of uh, Star Fox, right? 
Oh yeah, absolutely like Star Fox. Power roll. In the end of Star Fox. It, remi- like it reminds me the... of Area Six. If you ever play Area Six in Star Fox oh. sixty four. Here you go, Jake. Yeah. Oh yeah. Literally. It's oh, it's an A wing. Oh, it is an A wing. Touche. Yeah, this is in the RKO Awakens. They add a thing of him brushing his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> And it also well, says, how's my driving Wade 800 eat shit? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of me for thinking that he was piloting a Y-Wing. I thought it was a B-Wing yeah. when we first I'm started the commentary. I'm so confused by so. that. It's the bridge. He took down the bridge, so therefore the ship had no more controls. Yeah. So it got that sucked guy's into the, hero. the largest mass of gravity, or the closest mass of gravity, which was the Super Death Star. Bam! Neil deGrasse Tyson, your ass. Huh. So it was generating its own technically you gravitational generate your own pull. Gravitational Everything field. generates its own gravitational pull. Like you and I have our own gravitational pull, but we're so counter, not counter, but like uh, overpowered, overpowered by the Earth's gravitational pull that you don't notice. But if we were in the middle of space, our minute gravitational pulls could affect each other. Granted, again, minute. But like if we were hugging we and we let go we would just stay stuck to each other depending on how much force we put into the letting go but hmm. you know because we would then be generating a combined gravitational field we would have to actually push us ourselves away from each other to actually separate and then we would just be pushing away forever cool because science the performance here is really really good Mm -hmm. but this is where i realized the birth of my love of anonymity became a thing because as when i first time i saw this movie i was so fucking bummed out by seeing darth vader's face that i left my buddy like i was spending the night at my buddy's house i walked home i was like so so disappointed i was like that's what vader looks like (laughs) it reminds me of the the chase and amy rant where where uh hooper x is talking about how star wars is is racist mm. and he's like Vader, the blackest brother in the universe, takes off his helmet to reveal a feeble, crusty old white man. What about Lando Calrissian? Yeah. Man, fuck Lando. Cal- I I used to have that monologue committed to memory because I was like, one day I'm going to use that to audition for something, and it's going to be amazing. All Rats Two starts filming soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kevin Smith. I can still do that from memory. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's, uh, but I, I'm I'm not crazy about what Vader looks like underneath the mask either. I was like, I would have loved the idea of like uh, Luke sees his face, you know, but we don't. We see Luke's reaction to his face. That'd be great. Like it's although there is angle. a although there is a great pop figure that they released with Vader with his helmet off. There's but it, you know, a, um, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, when I was a kid, I was super bummed, but it doesn't ruin fucking Vader or anything. But I always, I, I always joke that's where they, the idea of like, I don't like seeing. If you're a mass character, I don't know what I know what you look like. Yeah. Kind of like how I don't like to know what authors look like. <clears throat> There's a uh, another Sith Lord, um, from like the Knights of the Old Republic days, I think, who looks a lot like Darth, Darth Vader without his what? Darth Revan. Possibly. Let me. Or Darth. Um, there's another one from two. Revan sounds right. Yeah, Revan's the masked one. And then Darth Malak looks um, like. Then no, it's not Darth Revan. Yeah. Darth Malak looks like Vader without his helmet. Yes, that. M a l a k. Yeah, I always uh, when I first saw him. Yes, Darth Malak. When I first saw him, he like was legitimately dressed like in a black suit. Like, I'm not seeing it in these things, but, like, he was, like, in a black suit, and I thought that it just was, like, a weird uh, action figure that was supposed to be Darth Vader action pose without his helmet on. And I was like, what? Oh, thanks, George Lucas, for adding that ring of death. (laughs) So worth it. By the way, I do (laughs) one one little science fact to, uh, to continue this. Um, so the Death Star is orbiting this forest moon and it's big enough that it's probably affecting certain things, much like how the moon affects our gravitational pull and or not gravitational, pull, uh, our tides and a couple other things. And it's part of the reason why we have seasons. Um, the moon, the, the, the Death Star there is big enough to affect the, uh, you know, the things going on, on, yeah, uh, on, uh, the forest moon here of Endor, uh, that, 
such an immediate destruction of it would fuck so much shit up. Like, building it was probably gradual enough that it wasn't awful. Like, there was still changes, you know. Yeah. Uh, that they, the, the, like, the Ewoks But the Ewoks noticed. used to look like Wookiees. Yeah. That's why they shrunk <laughs> <laughs> over the six months that it took to build the Super Death Star. Uh, but, yeah, like, such a dramatic destruction of it probably would have, like, just turned things to shit. Huh? <laughs> He just now remembered what brother meant. <laughs> oh, like brother. I feel like this is like the least Han Solo Star Wars movie. I mean, he wasn't originally in the, the Acts 2 and 3. Yeah. I mean, like, well, yeah, but I mean, he doesn't like, he just doesn't yeah. do anything. He's just like, Mmm. The shrug is probably the most Han Solo thing that he does in this movie. Yeah, they just kind of add, honestly, they feels like he's kind of at it if it feels kind of like he's just an afterthought in the endor sequences it be, it's because he is yeah that's a shame you know from the trailer now for episode seven we know luke doesn't do a really proper job here well, i mean getting as rid far of the as we body. know all the organic materials logs <laughs> don't burn or logs don't melt plastic <laughs> just like jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams it warps them Fire doesn't destroy Sith fall. Lords. <laughs> yeah. They're born of fire, molded by it. Yeah. He didn't see darkness until he was a man. And all this so, yeah, is this new is the, as well, Yeah, right? this is the shit that's new. They had those fireworks, yeah. but then the transition to this. This has been in since the special edition. However, we're about to see Naboo, which was added for the DVD release. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Tatooine. That's, yeah, that's Tatooine, yeah. And they add fucking a Gungan, presumably Jar Jar. That's. Yep. Screaming Weeza free. Fuck you. <laughs> I like Naboo. And that's Fine. Coruscant. I like, I, honestly, I like this montage. Yeah. It's that bad, yeah. But f- fucking adding, it's like adding a Gungan's just how. F- now topple that statue onto innocent bystanders. Thank yeah. you. But give me Yub Nub. Sounds like a song. I wonder in like what Zelda. the uprising at Coruscant <laughs> would have been like after getting the news that both the Emperor, read Star Wars, Shadow Vader, Empire. it's no, no longer canon. But you can still read it. Actually, Shattered Empire is in the new canon. Oh, it is. Yep, just was published this year. Biatch. Ooh, <laughs> suck on them titties! <laughs> oh my God, they eat people. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Now dance with the fucking fish man. For ooh, all, ooh, ooh. Yeah, for all we know, the <laughs> Emerald Akbar and the other uh, Mon Calamari eat people too. Yeah. We don't know what they do in their free time. I'm not here to judge. Yeah. They do, they. Yeah, you see, we flew. I know what flying's <laughs> like. I'm the co pilot <laughs> on the Millennium Falcon, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we but flew. I fl- but I flew in the Death Star. I've done it too. <laughs> yeah. I blew it up. So did I. Yeah. Hey, I'm not going to be in any more of these movies because I find them boring. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of my family members will. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, fuck. fuck you, <laughs> George. It's uh, like, Luke's like, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's not the man who I saw redeemed. He looks like somebody I saw in Shattered Glass. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect way to end this commentary series. Yeah. I like Yoda though. He's cool. <laughs> and yeah, and, so and Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our commentary for Shattered Glass available. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty abrupt. Yeah, 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 it's just this like abrupt ending where it's like we save the day, everyone's dancing. Well, after seeing the ghost of Hayden Christensen, you, they probably realized okay, the audience doesn't want to see any more of this movie. Yeah. End it as quickly as if, possible. Do you think about it, not counting the uh, Endor uh, directed TV stuff? That's the last we see of Star Wars for mm-hmm. like sixteen years. <laughs> And I remember, you know, uh, I listened to a lot of Kevin Smith podcasts, and he talks about as a kid leaving the theater and being so feeling so sad because he was like, "That's it, yeah, I'm never going to see Star Wars again." And I remember like, he said like the guy that the his friend's dad who took him was like, "What the fuck's the matter with you? Like, yeah. it's just a movie." It was kind of like Revenge of the Sith in 2005, even though, you know, it's still a prequel. But <laughs> or uh, what's the uh, or even Return of the King back in 2003? Mm, yeah, mm. you know, I was like, "Oh, I never can get." 
we're never gonna get Middle Earth again. And then we got The Hobbit, and I was like, I wish we never got Middle Earth again. <laughs> uh, Jackson, kind of like what you were like when the prequels came out. Yeah, on a, I've made this comparison a lot. The, the Hobbit movies are a lot like the Star Wars prequels, both narratively and uh, in terms of uh, just cinematic quality. Yeah, yeah the prequels, prequels. <laughs> taught me a very valuable lesson: is don't always be excited because something's coming back. Yeah, yeah. And yet, you're going to see Force Awakens with me opening night. I told you of work allows Ben for Burke, it. very much alive. Put me down for that ticket. Okay. <laughs> and a f- and genius. Yeah. But uh yeah. So you guys are probably uh, have probably noticed that there is a Star Wars commentary missing. They're like, "Oh, did they just skip episode 1? Did they just skip the Phantom Menace?" Rightfully so. Stay tuned. Damn. Stay tuned. Whoa. Maybe maybe you'll see Sai si- si- Snoodles again or Paplu. Yeah. Or Tebow. Or Nikki. Played by Nikki Reed. Interesting. They only have three credited puppeteers for Jabba. I've always heard that there was like five. Huh. Yeah. Maybe I was wrong. Possible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It was the first time for everything. (laughs) Stuart (laughs) Ziff. (laughs) I wish that was... Douglas Twitty. (laughs) Um, You guys got anything to add before we uh, put the cap on Return of the Jedi? I hope Peter Hancock named his son Herbert. Um, <laughs> to reference Tommy Boy, it's yeah. it's uh, I I enjoy uh, this film. That's all I gotta say about that. Joshua, it's all right. It's no Empire, but it's all right. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. <laughs> 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 nah, it's still my favorite man. It's still still a good time, and I'm interested to see what happens next. You know, I'm interested to see the Force Awakens. I was, I'll be there. Hopefully, opening night. We'll see. Isn't that right, Chunky Huss? Yes. Dick Dova Spa. And Reg Hall. And Clark Garland. <laughs> Chunky Huss. Who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I will for hen- from henceforth be known as Chunky Huss. Chunky Huss. Check like Twitter Fred Spucks. If he, has like a, <laughs> if he has a Twitter. Yeah. Hey, Chunky. You know what? So. That's fine, Sam. I'm going into my phone and changing you to that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chunky Huss is calling me. Who? You know. Chunk- Sam. Yeah. Chunky Huss. <laughs> Chunky Huss Sam. I mean, when I say Chunky Huss, don't doesn't it just scream Sam? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this has been another Geek Out commentary. I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. And we'll be back with another movie. <laughs>